Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Void Live and our official final Fantathon after party mini subathon. How we doing, everybody? Are you ready? I am so excited for today. We got eight games to play and then a whole pile of bonus games to play if we reach the incentives we could be playing upwards of 16 different final fantasy games all today are you guys ready our first game of the day <laughs> Snake Bow, thank you for the 300 bits. Miranda, thank you for the gifted sub. Yeah, I, I pause the uh, the hype train spins for now, but I've been keeping track of how many hype trains we've had. And I've been uh, purchasing some stuff. Let's just say that. Let's just say when... Uh... When Rebirth is over, we're going to have some uh, some cards to open. Couple couple cards to open. It's going to be pretty wild. Here it is. Decidia Final Fantasy. The runner-up for Final Fantathon. A game a lot of people wanted to see. A game I've only ever played like once. My buddy had it and I like borrowed it and played it once. sort of gamer are you? Are you a filthy casual? Are you a Karen average? Or are you a hardcore gamer? I'm average. Which day of the week do you play the most? Today. <laughs> I play the most right now. I only sub to average gamers. Yo, you're in luck. Might I be too late? No, I have to make it. What? What? Abomination. Abomination is right. Intervene and be slain. These stupid cards that I get all the time, they're an abomination. It makes me uncomfortable when the PSP loads and it's like spinning in my hand. I don't like it. Pressing circle will steal your opponent's bravery. Circle attacks won't take away any HP. Square to deal damage. Deal HP damage equivalent to your bravery. Boost strength with a bravery break. Live stream. Welcome to the Final Fantathon after party. Yes, we did start already. In fact, Seraphic already hit our first goal on his own. Not on his own, almost on his own. We're up to nine hours already. Solid! Think of it the tier 369. Now that's the gamer right there. That is a gamer right there. A tier 3 69 monther. That's a pro gamer move. Knock your opponent's bravery to zero to give yours a boost. This seems this seems a bit complicated. 
Shouldn't it just be like attack the enemy? I can take you on if you wish. Yeah, I've heard the song. Prepare. Prepare. I don't know what I did, but I kicked his butt. Oh, I okay. I won. And now I'm loading again. Fill the X gauge to enter X mode. Collect X cores and X force to fill your X gauge. R square to enter X mode. Connect with an HP attack while in X mode and this mark will appear. Pressing square will launch a super move. Oh, I love X's. When victim to a foe's X burst, repeatedly tap circle to fill the gauge and boost your defense. Look out, fill the gauge too high and your defense will suffer. I can take you on if you wish. You shine. Shine. I give my all to this sword. Repair. Yeah, I know that sound effect. You're finished. I think he's dead. I think I done killed him. Whiz around with what? <laughs> they call it whiz. Whiz around. Press triangle when you see a quick move indicator. Press R triangle to speed toward foes. I can take you on if you wish. Dude, it's so loud. Prepare. Prepare. What did I just do to the man? I feel bad. You can lock on the different things with L. I can take you on if you wish. Uh, like, I pressed triangle, it didn't work. Prepare. Prepare. I pressed triangle and it didn't go. Oh, the camera's like really far away, yeah. It's hard to see what you're doing. I'm also playing on a pretty small screen, so... One of the... Good one of the bonus the games sound. is... Dissidia 12, the so... Of disorder are getting stronger. We'll see, maybe if the camera's better in that Let one. Let us hurry. The fighting is far from over. The fighting is far from over. We must win, or there is no future for us. What is this voice acting? <laughs> this is the start menu. Think of it as your gateway to playing the game. You gotta be actually kidding. That's something they actually wrote. This is the start menu. Think of it as a gateway to playing the game. Whoa, that's so futuristic. I'm just gonna arcade mode. Start menu tutorial. Alright, we got... Warrior of Light, Garland, Ferion, The Emperor, Onion Knight, Cloud of Darkness, Cecil, Golbez, Barks, X-Death, Terra, Kefka, Cloud, Sephiroth, 
Squall, Altamecia, Zidane, Kuja, Titus, Jekt, Warrior of Light, Garland. So many characters. I feel like this is a terrible, like, select screen. Not, like, it's hard to see everyone. Like, why not just do a regular fight screen where you, like, see their faces? You Terra. Yeah. Well, I mean, Square never made a fighting game before. Well, I guess they didn't they make, uh, Air Geist? Or did someone else make Air guys and then they just put the characters in? But yeah, I, I think they were still kind of getting their feet wet with this fighting is the games. I've chosen. And... And against myself. Oh jam. How do I dodge things? Get away. Holy... I'm... Kingdom Hearts sliding. Get away. Dude, the movement in this is wild. Get away. Get away. Like a, feels like a Dragon Ball Z fighter. Mode. Get away. Get away. Oh, not, it's not full yet. I don't know how to like close the distance. choose what move I get when I hit square or is it just random? This move kind of blows. I feel like I need to play a swordsman or something because the spells aren't doing it for me. Too hard to hit stuff. I'm in trance. See, that's, I was trying to hold different directions, because that's usually how fighting games work. But I was just getting tornado, like, every time. Maybe I should try neutral. Gray, thank you so much for the gift sub. Terra versus Zidane. What a fight. Oh, fitting, fitting song. Okay, neutral is definitely tornado. I'm getting wrecked. Just try to hit me with free energy. So, like Warrior of Light, I was able to do a circle combo and then it went into a square combo, but Terra just kind of does nothing. Okay, Flood is back square. 
Is this what Terra does? Just spams? Because I don't see any other way to play her. I just got annihilated by that. He has like no... Okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> He had like no bravery, but he did a million damage to me. I'm just glad it's over. I should have picked a swordsman. There's gotta be more than just circle and square attacks, right? Because Terra only has two attacks. I guess there's no avoiding this. Sorry for water. I like how they say the same exact thing every time they use a move. It's a cool feature. Jumping around, I can't hit him with another. Sorry for waters. Sorry for waters. <laughs> Sorry for waters. How do I hit with this? Sorry for waters. He just dodges it every time. I can't do any damage. Where's the X core? I need the X core. It's all the way over there. Get away. How am I how, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, I see. This game sure has some movement. Okay, but now I still have the same moves. Okay, he was standing still shooting me with an arrow and I still missed. circle move every time, but I can't hit him with any of my square moves. Actually deal damage. How you dodge that?
I had him broken, but I couldn't hit him because he just he just dashes around. Get away. Get away. Come here. Get away. Is this what every Dissidia fight looks like, or is this just me? Get away. <laughs> just, just like desperately trying to chase down the AI. Is that is that normal? It's just me? Okay, that's good to know. It's good to know this uh, This isn't what the game is actually like. How is this missing? Thank you. I think it might just be Terra, honestly. Circle attacks deplete the brave points pool. Break brave points with circle attacks. Yeah, but I couldn't hit him with a square attack. Dude just dashed around like crazy. I knew what I was supposed to do, I just couldn't do it. Garland, okay, he should be a big meaty target, right? If this is the path I've chosen, then... Malevolent wind. I feel like... Ranged focus is not... Not the... The thing to go with. When... Everyone could dash like Dragon Ball Z characters. Also, this looks like Kingdom Hearts boss battle. Rise! Take really ten gifted subs. Thank you, man. I blocked? How did I block? This is so hard. Help. 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 Green Garland. I'm dead. Dude, all I can do is this getaway move. She has like nothing. She has no moves. Well, I just can't do them. Class change. He's doing all this cool stuff. I can't do crap. All I can do is get away. I'm dead anyways. Dude, that doesn't matter how much defense I have. How do you... How, how fast does it... Expect me to tap. What? You're gonna break my PSP. <laughs> oh my god. No. Alright, I love you, Tara, but I need a new character. How's it going, Retro? Okay, so like I'm a low level also, that's a problem. There's like levels. How do I customization? Holy moly. It means you can press the blart button. Or rather, the start button. Bro, they were trying to get way too cute with these tutorials. <laughs> what in the world? There's a time to be cute and there's a time to tell me how to play the game? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, like I got like empty, I got like empty slots here. So I gotta level up and then I get actual moves to use. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense because I was like, there's no way this is all I have, you know? Oh, 
I was like, something is horribly wrong. Alright, that makes a lot more sense. I'm like, this is a fighting game, I only have two attacks. I mean, it still kind of looks like you don't get a lot of attacks, but... Alright. Uh... Here he goes, Idane. He seemed pretty cool. I've heard great things about the newer... The newer Dissidia games. One of our bonus games is Dissidia 12. So that one will be a bit... Maybe a bit better. Not that this is bad or anything, but... Let's get on might be a little less jank. Burn it up! Burn it up! Holy moly, you got destroyed. Yeah, this already feels better. I can just whack him, you know? I gotta start in the corner! Ouch. Break him and then chase him. He's got one HP. Okay, I like Zidane. <laughs> I like Zidane so much better. I, got, I can do a circle combo and then follow up with a square combo and like actually set it up and hit things instead of just throwing stuff into the void and watching the enemy fly around it. You know? This actually feels like a fighting game character. Let's get on with it. Yeah, dude, I like dude, this game, regardless of jank, which I'm sure it was less janky when it came out. It just feels janky now. But man, this is such a cool like I can't I, I remember when this game came out, I couldn't believe it existed. I couldn't believe we got a real like crossover game like this where you can fight you know Garland versus Squall Cloud versus Squall I mean it was like way more shocking back when it happened too nowadays not so much but when it came out it was like they did what you know we've got the extreme playing in the background like the music is amazing just Hearing the songs like would have blown me away as a kid. Like I genuinely think, and I'm guessing a lot of you guys probably feel the same way. This game could have been utter crap, and I still would have loved it. You know, like I would have been such a sucker for this. My buddy had it, and I tried it, and I thought it was so cool, but. I didn't have a PSP at the time, and by the time I got one, I didn't care about it anymore. Burn it up! Title Flame is somehow a better ranged attack than all of Terra's attacks. My PSP is dying. You gotta hang in there, PSP. We got like two other PSP games to play. You're gonna have to hold in there, man. Let's get on with it. Darkness be with me. Dodge this! Oh, he did. He actually did dodge it, though. What are we fighting in? Is this the freaking tower in Final Fantasy VIII? The clock tower in Final Fantasy VIII? At the end of Elfamusia's castle? Dodge this! 
too slow. It cracks me off how many of these quotes are like straight up Kingdom Hearts quotes. Darkness. Too slow. Darkness be with me. How do you? I don't know how I did shift break, but it obliterated them. How do you like that? How do you like that? <laughs> he actually sounds like Riku. Ooh, Cloud of Darkness. Collude of Dankness. Where they just randomly decided it's a hot chick now. Today's victim is you! Every Sonic, every character is Sonic. Kind of. I'm telling you, man, like, visually and audio-wise, this game is amazing, regardless. Like, I would have loved it. Just seeing the characters jump around in a 3D environment and have, like, voice acting. And then hearing, like, the songs. No wonder so many of the Final Fantasy cards are based on the city of characters. A lot of people probably have a lot of nostalgia for these specific versions of the characters. She's like parried me. Burn it up! Burn it up! I don't know how to do free energy correctly. I'm getting blasted. I can't get anywhere near it. I need to like block her atta attack. She keeps timing it at really weird times. Oh, got it with the free energy. Oh. I am now Monkey Man. Monkey Man! And for the final touch, fly away! Boys, we just brought that from the jaws of the feet with Monkey Man, Randy Savage. <sighs> Made it out alive. Oh god, jacked is our final. I'm scared. Today's I swear my moves change. Cause last fight, 
up square was free energy. And now it's not. Okay, every direction is now title point. I, I'm, I'm missing something, guys. I'm hitting every different direction with my analog stick, and I'm getting the same move. I gotta be in the air. Okay, so ground every single... <laughs> For some reason, every ground direction is title point. They didn't equip two different moves. For some reason. By the way, I'm winning because I just spam title flame and you couldn't dodge it. So that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna win off title flame alone. Oh, we dodged it. Get over here. Get over here. How'd that miss? How'd that miss? I very much disagree. No way. There seems to be multiple songs from the games. Burn it up. I know they had a lot of characters in this game, but just like two voice lines for each move definitely would have gone far. I got some Chocobo Cologne. Now Zidane can pick up all the chicks. With this Chocobo Cologne. Even my PSP is cheering me on. Add more playable characters and costumes. Boost the effectivity of calendar bonuses. Fill out the shop inventory. Unlock additional friend care icons. Dude, this game has so much, though. Like, I feel like I would have been addicted to getting this stuff, especially given that this is a handheld game. So wait, why... Why did it say I can unlock new characters if all the characters are unlocked? Or this is just what I have. Yeah, but I... I already have all these characters. But I have... but I can play as them. Unless... it just listed them, but I couldn't... hold up. Gotcha. Well, good thing I picked Zidane then. Oh, wait, I can get the customization from here. Alright, so how do I get new moves? I just get new moves as I level up. Wow, a dagger. I like how the weapons are equipped based on game and not person. Alright, so I gotta do story then, or quick battle.
I just want to level up someone to kind of see how it goes. Tito! Yeah, I've heard that 12 is like crazy huge. I've heard these games are massive, especially for a PSP game. It's kind of a shame that a lot of the Smash games didn't have as much content as this. Like, they have content, but it's really mostly just focused on quick play, you know? I feel like Ultimate was the first game to really have like a ton of content, but the content that was there, not everyone was really into it. Let the show begin. Bleep blah bleep blue. Bleep blah bleep blah bleep 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 Let me, uh, let me see here. So, Dissidia 12 is our sixth bonus game. So, if we hit six incentives, we'll play Dissidia 12 today. We've already hit one. You threw a blitz ball at me! Spiral cut me. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, we dodged it. So, quick question. Are these moves just for fun or what? Because, like, when does this not kill? Maybe if you're, like, a really high level and have a million HP or something. It feels like the super moves just always kill. Three? Didn't I need like 5,000? Or was that? Okay, no, I got like 2,000. I gotta do like three of those fights to level up. Yeah, but like every time someone's done a super move, it's killed, I think. Because like you have to have you have to have them broken for the super move to even go off. So like, you know. Let the show begin. But yeah, I was thinking like once everyone's higher level, maybe it falls off a bit. But right now, yeah, it's basically get the super move win. What is going on? We're just trading back and forth. I just can't believe how like Dragon Ball Z all this is. How many times can we trade this before one of us misses? <laughs> no. Uh oh. I need a. Well, maybe not a range. Oh, we've job master. That's not good. Double punch. Oh, I'm dead. Four essences. Let's go. For a shining world. What? 
All right, I got plus 10 defense. Let's see how it did. Oh. <laughs> There's a place I have to go back to. Good thing I got that plus 10 defense. All right, let's see. Do I get to pick a character in story mode? Or is it just random, maybe? Oh, I gotta do a t tutorial. Oh, no. I only have 11 minutes left. Do I have time for a tutorial? I've seen the... the I've seen some of the cutscenes from this. They're pretty rad. The voice acting's kind of yikes, but they're kind of rad just to see the characters interact with each other. Like Sephiroth fighting Cosmos, the warrior blight. The goddess of harmony. Chaos, the god of discord. Reigning from distant realms, the two gods had gathered warriors from all lands to lead them in savage war. Chaos. Cosmos and Chaos were of equal strength. It was believed the conflict would last forever. But... But... I mean, look at this quality, though. Like, just seeing these characters in this quality is, like, so amazing. See Cloud back there being all cloud-like? How do these characters even get here? I'll just stand around. <laughs> all of our worst enemies. All together. How did this happen? Out of a volcano, no less. Look at Onion Knight. In a goofball. Clown Squaller, like, whatever. Gives me like Crash Bash vibes. We got the good team and the bad team, and then like the captains. Just saying, there's no way those villains would actually get along long enough to fight with each other. Kefka would have like already backstabbed one of them. Sephiroth would have just left without any of their help. Pretty sure Cloud of Darkness is just here to destroy the planet. Nothing else. Ultimisi would be trying to like control the other ones. <laughs> I need night. Whack, whack, whack. He's like, well, he's dead. Squall versus Sephiroth. Yeah, Sephiroth wins that fight. Sorry, Squall. Jacked like low key, not even a bad guy, by the way. But they needed a 10 bit. Why not Seymour instead of Jack? I 
Titus versus Kuja. What a fight. Dude, I love how everyone is just like the craziest form of themselves. Just zipping around. Everybody's Sonic. be any more epic? This is so long. This could have been a movie. I feel like I just watched part of a Advent Children movie. It's crazy. people were like addicted to this game when it came out the balance was broken those who answered chaos's call created an inexhaustible force and under vicious attack without relent the warriors fighting for Cosmos started to fall one by one. The conflict that has continued for eons is now about to end in Chaos's favor. The world has been torn asunder. Torn asunder. Sinking into a vortex of disorder. As for the few surviving warriors, Staff, warrior of light. Why'd you have to cast magic missile? I have been defeated. Cosmos. I could not protect the world. <laughs> no, that was my wife. She just coughed. I brought my garland slaying knife. It's got a plus eight against garlands. By the way, I spent like 200 plus dollars on all these games. Probably a little more than that. They were like $300 on all these games for today. This game I found on one of our vacations for $3. <laughs> At some um uh some store, I forget what it was. It was like a um Bargain store, yeah. I don't remember exactly what the name of the store was. But yeah, was like, <laughs> it was like three bucks. I was like, yeah. I wasn't even, you know, we were just on vacation. I just saw it. Salvation Army. So it, might, it may have been, yeah. We're playing a board game now? Cindy Gauntlet. The 
what's the point of making... I did it, guys. I won. Story mode complete. One move expends one DP, but you're free to choose your destination. Yeah, that song's pretty dope. Gain experience through HP damage. Yeah, I got some rusted armor. Give me strength. Crusty. This kind of reminds me of uh, Soul Calibur, where you'd move around the board and fight like weaker NPCs. And it was like way more RPG mechanics. Shine. You know, you guys remember that? Soul Calibur 3, I think it was. The. It wasn't the story mode, but it was like remembered. a. Um, it was like a. Uh, a side mode. Stories of the Sword or something. That mode was awesome. Freaking love that that mode. Mannequins, shadow entities employed by Chaos's forces as troops. Yeah, dude, I would have loved this as a kid because I love that Soul Calibur um mode. You could like level up and get stats and stuff, and they actually like affected. But here, like, it's way more RPG heavy. That's so cool. I, w I was enthralled with the idea of, a, of, like, a fighting game mixed with an RPG. If only I had played this. Yes, so every hour it's a new game, and every sub-goal we hit, we add an hour and a game. And as soon as that timer hits zero, the stream's over. Uh, and with that, we're moving on to our next game. But we may get some more Dissidia action later because we also have Dissidia 12 on the list. But for now, we're moving on to another game that many people wanted to see. The, the, this game, this game and, uh, Dissidia and this game were the two that were way ahead of all the others. Like, not even close. And that is Final Fantasy XIII-2. This game and Dissidia were way above the others in terms of votes. These ones almost won a place on the proper event because of how many votes they got. Yeah, so I played Final Fantasy XIII 2 back when it first came out and actually really liked it and played like a good eight hours of it or something. But I don't think I ever finished it. But uh, I do understand why people say this is like one of the best sequels. It actually is really good. This was like quite the shock because thirteen two should not be good. <laughs> There's no reason why 13.2 should be good, but somehow it is. Somehow they made it work.
yeah. I think they targeted a lot of the issues with 13, which is what they should do with a sequel, so. Should we watch the intro? I remember this game being quite the mind screw. But I guess 13 is also. The graphics though, man. Thir oh, the whole 13 series just looks so good. It's genuinely so impressive how good these games look. No, this is 13 too. Oh, it's 13 too, guys. It's 13 too. Same difference? Absolutely not. 13.3 is so bad, dude. I mean, there's there's parts of 13.3 that are enjoyable, but this game's actually a game. 13.3 is a joke. Like, like, genuinely a joke. Like, they just try to be funny the whole game. It's terrible. This game at least tries to be a game. 13.3 is just memes the whole time. The freaking Hong Kong guy. <laughs> Never forget. Hong Kong. Why does it look like he's the good guy and we're the bad guy? Other than the, the purple, which always signifies bad guy. We're like up in the castle and he's like trying to get to us. Kind of like reverse. Yeah, 13-3 has a cool battle system, but it's ruined by everything else. I genuinely like the post-game super dungeon, though. What's that meteor? Like I said, there's stuff to like about 13.3. I just, I, I am really not a fan of it. Like, the time mechanics frustrate me so much. The dialogue frustrates me so much. The general gameplay loop frustrates me so much. The goofiness, like I'm okay with the game being goofy, but 13 and 13.2 are so serious, and then 13.3 is just a complete meme. I don't understand why. I, just, I, I have like a personal vendetta against Lightning Returns. I hate that game. But I do not think it's like a 0 out of 10 game. There's definitely some stuff to like about it. I just, I do not like that game. <laughs> wonder if it has my save. What? What's happening? Oh, why am I player 2? Is that my save file? Yeah, there you go. I played 10 hours. 
way back when. Yo, big drop in the 10 gifted. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, big. Hype in the chat for big, getting us up to 79. Thank you. Final Fantasy 13 save data detected. You can now select an item from extras. It's going to be some like lightning beach costume or something, isn't it? Final Fantasy 13 2 will automatically save your progress during autosave as. <laughs> yep, you blew it. No more, no more cool number. <laughs> Just gonna have to get the 169, I guess. Sorry. That time was lost, yet time continued onward. Oh no. Is it... Is it gonna be the same as that cutscene? I hope not. Oh no. It's gonna be the same cutscene. We blew it, guys. How's it going, Maz? Go peacefully to your rest. I will stand guard over your legacy. I hate when they do this, man. Like... So many Final Fantasy games do this. Where the opening cutscene and then the starting cutscene are the same and then you have to watch it twice. This endless realm is awash with sadness. I can't even skip it because it is slightly different. We can we actually Life get dialogue. If it were the exact same scene, I could just skip it. Be like, okay, no, no big deal, but now I gotta watch it. The currents of time do not touch its shores. In this world of lost moments. At least it's better than Final Fantasy IX where it like spoils life, every single character yeah. in the game. I'll take this over that. So I don't remember a lot about this guy, but I remember he's kind of a cool villain. Like he's got a bit of a my lady to him he's not just evil this eternity it was never your desire is that not so you i wanted to call him gaius <laughs> that's caius <laughs> yeah, he's got some layers <laughs> I also kind of like his Native American kind of look. He's cool. Lose yourself in battle and rejoice! Monster Hunter. <laughs> Very fitting resub. Husk of the Wandering Comet. I summon thee! Embrace the terror. Down 
This game does have a lot of purple. This lightning's also kind of purple. Impressive. Save it. Monster Hunter! Think of the ten! Damn you. Thank you, thank you, man. Yeah. Almost to another hour. Let's what the this. Cast your shadow over all. Rings of night! Did you accidentally press the button twice? What happened? You get the 10 and then get the another 10? This Batman. We're one sub away from another hour. And then you get the... Okay. Someone take his mouse away. <laughs> Somebody take this man's mouse away. He's gone nuclear. That's another hour to the board. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I'm fighting stuff now. Hold up. I should probably take this tutorial. Six segments, holy cow. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it not, like, insane? Like, think about the end of 13. The end of 13. And then, like, this. Like, is this not, like, crazy, like, where, how did we get here? You know? Or is there, like, something that explains that somewhere? Was there some kind of like, I mean, it probably explains it later, but like, I'm thinking about the end of 13 and then suddenly like lightning's a god fighting another god with monster, with a monster war. Like what the heck? How did this happen? Not even a fight. This is a movie. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, we're kind of supposed to be like, what the heck's going on? Pipe train is close. Let's go. Bergy, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Yeah, thank you for the gifted sub. Bergy, thank you for another gifted sub. And Crash, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you guys. impressed with like how big this game is because being a sequel you didn't you would expect like being a sequel but also being a Final Fantasy you would expect there to be a bit less of a budget but it feels like they put a lot into this game and I think it paid off because this game sold really well surprisingly when this game came out I was like oh it's gonna bomb no one wants to play a sequel to a Final Fantasy game the whole point is that there's no sequels but 10-2 sold really well, so 13-2 also sold really well. And I mean, it's a good game, so I mean, 
why wouldn't it sell well? Monster Hunter, thank you for 1050 as well, dude. Unreal. Thank you so much, man. Level 4 hype train already. And Solid, thank you for the gift itself. Oh, shoot. My bad, guys. I wasn't paying attention. That should be 150, not Come 200. On, I feel like this game. I feel like this gameplay doesn't look as smooth as 13 did. But maybe there's just a lot going on here. Friday, stick with the five. Explosions. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Like they weren't in 13. I don't think really necessary here. But I am a big fan of the big epic start, though. Chaos bend to my will. I like this kind of thing. Gets you hyped for the rest of the game, you know? Like, I, I like when a game starts off crazy. Starts off with some so you want to destroy hype. everything. Oblivion is the fate of all things. Oblivion is a great video game. <laughs> yeah, think of the gift that's up. Gun. I like gun. Oh no, my gun. We're done here. Say goodbye. Thank you. In these final moments, I have met my finest opponent. You're finished, Caius! happening. <laughs> Holy moly, we're already halfway to our next hour. Seru with the 10. Gate. Thank you, thank you. Also, Monster Hunter asked, because I missed it, what was your final thoughts on 15? Uh, I just feel like it had a lot of potential, but the one from the vision. missed in a lot of ways. But overall, I got a lot more out of it than I did my first playthrough, so that I was know nice. Your name. No, no more. Christ. What? How's it going, Vic? And the song. 
13 never misses with the music, man. Truly. His name is John Cena. Suck. Wake up and you're just falling. I'm here. Where am I? Valhalla. What? You prayed for a miracle, and that brought you here. Or am I wrong? How did you know? From Valhalla, I can see everything. But who are you? Lightning. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Who are you? Lightning. Like, I almost expected her not to answer. Then she was like, alright, I'll answer. Time for a real fight. I expected a more like, your savior or something. So then she was like, lightning. That's my name. McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Good job. Here comes. <laughs> what now? Gonna get worse. He's holding back. Come on, let's pick my abilities. Let's give him a nice war as a benediction. N none of this matters at all, just saying. Fit him with some graviton mines. As if I'm supposed to have any idea what would actually be good here. Just picking random things. This is the power of chaos. This is the power of chaos. Power to Keyblade. As simple as this is to like play, does this not hype you for the rest of the game? It's so freaking epic. It's almost like they're telling you like, you know, oh, we put some money into this game, you know, with this scene alone. Like this isn't just a cash grab, guys. This is, we put some money into this. Look at these explosions. Actually won. Hey, I got five stars. Hey, rare item, drop item, draw. I don't know what that means. Thank you guys for the hype train. Only 27 off of another hour to the marathon already. You guys haven't let it drop under... Like, we're above eight already. Above eight hours. I don't think it's dropped below 7.30. How do we fight him? This is not your battle. There's something else I need you to do. What? I need you to go pick up the baking soda. To me. Her name is Sarah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just met you, though. You'll need to use the portal. Your time gazing friend should have told you how it works. The Moogle? That's a gate? But why me? Because you're the only one who can. You crossed the void and made it to Valhalla. You can find Sarah. And together you can change the future. Wait. I can change the future? 
Yes. And hey, look at these Garfix. PS3, by the way. Turn into a crossbow? Right. You got it. I'll track her down. I feel like the What's happening? Enjoying your little chat. Uh the dialogue to mouth movements is really good. Caius? Get to the gate. I'm counting on you. Okay. Go! This boy just jumped. Not this again. Odin! Do it! Yeet. with you, Noel Kreis. Become an arrow through time and speed your way to ah! Sarah. Pal. Be there for her because I no longer can. I mean, dang, what a freaking epic opening. Holy moly. I remember not being a super big fan of like all the time travel this game has, but I do like the idea of like lightning sending Noel back in time to save Sarah and then like the world ending, but he gets like sent back in time. Like I like that idea, but then like everything else with time, I tend to kind of, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to like kind of drown out time, time travel stuff. Pause. In a world where I no longer exist. The future is about to change. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite style. I feel like the only game that's ever really captured me with time travel is Chrono Trigger. I can't help but just kind of sit and think about the truth still survives. Story like plot holes whenever I play a game with time travel. Like, this scene looks really, like, jittery, I guess. I'm, maybe I'm just used to 60 FPS, but I feel like Final Fantasy XIII didn't look this jittery. You just changed clothes? What? I haven't played all the way through Dark Cloud 2 that? yet, so... Like, what the heck? What are these clothes? Where did these clothes <laughs> Why am I... Showing more skin now. Sorry, girl. This is what? 2000. What's happening out there? This is 2012. We show more skin now. Yeah, I bet you the PC version looks a lot better. I feel like this game doesn't respect Final Fantasy 13 very much. Sarah should have had like a way more epic opening because like, you know, she gone in Final Fantasy 13. If you played Final Fantasy 13 and then this, you'd be freaking out. You'd be like, whoa, Sarah, she's alive. But they just kind of, there she is, you know. 
Would have been cool if there was some like epic reveal of her. A message from Lightning? Lightning? Lightning's gone. But then, what was that dream I just had? A message from the other side? That's true, I guess, but still, no. like... She can't be dead. You see her in the final scene, but... Just because you see her doesn't mean we shouldn't, like, be... Excited she's alive here, right? I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're right. I mean, I certainly wasn't, like, shocked she was here, but, I don't know. What's happening? You're probably right. I think we've seen her enough for there not to be a, not for, to be a big deal that she's here. Am I dead? I ask that every day. This? There's nothing here. Not one living yeah, maybe. Is this the afterlife? How did I die? If I'm dead, maybe I can live in my way. Remember that guy? Godot! Not the bugs. Sarah, come on! Everyone! This way now! Whoa! What is that? I don't know, shoot it. Sarah Lame. Lightning, help me. That's not lightning. Get a hold of yourself. Lightning can't protect you anymore. You have to look after yourself now. Do you hear me? Your sister's dead. She can't help you. Uh, oh, bro. You want her? Then you're gonna have to go through me! Epic one-liner. Get up, Sarah. You were in my dream. I saw you. Save it for later. You so dreamy. Can you fight? Um, if I have to? You're gonna have to. <laughs> I kind of like Noel. Don't ever lay down and wait to die. Like I like his design. I really like all the character designs in this game. I kind of like him as a character too. So it's looking very 13-esque so far with the combat. Yeah, Sarah's weapon's pretty dope. It also turns into like a sword. or something new. Yeah. 
fire. All the same so far. I will say the paradigm shift, something about it feels a bit better. Like, I guess it's just the UI looks nicer. So you guys said that this game specifically targets a lot of the issues that people had with 13. My biggest issue with 13 was the fact that if your main character dies, you lose. Is that fixed here? I feel like it is. I feel like I remember it being fixed. Control different people. Yes. Yeah, I'm seeing conflicting answers. Okay. Can you switch on your own? Or do you have to die? I might just not have the ability to switch yet. That's sweet, though. Being able to switch mid combat. That alone is, like, really awesome. So you couldn't even do that in 13. You just were whoever you picked. Which felt like a really big, like, miss with 13. In general. Sentinels. Not sure why we'd want that. I don't imagine Sarah being a good Sentinel. Everything just feels faster, too. Getting in and out of battles, the battle itself. All right, let's do this. I do wish I could move my character still. I mean, it's not a big deal, but... Something about 13 in general. I, I I wish I could move my character, because they just... Especially when there's, like, moves that depend on where your character's standing. I want to be able to just move them. Like, the D-pad doesn't do anything. It'd be nice if I could just... Even if I could just hit up and that meant, like, the character stayed closer or something. I don't know. Press back and they like walk backwards. Just some little effect. Would be nice. Hey, Sarah. Are you okay? Yeah. Mackie. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. Okay. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area's crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. 
She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank goodness. And thank you. Uh, whoever you are. No. No, Chris. Okay. <laughs> and before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy, too. Hmm? Ta -da! Come on! <laughs> wow, is that a toy Moogle? <laughs> He's supposed to be your lucky charm. Your sister gave him to me. Wait, you know Lightning? Mm -hmm. She's the one who told me to come here. Where? Where did you see her? Was it... Valhalla? Yeah. How'd you guess? I saw it in a dream. I saw my sister. She gave you the Moogle. Then the meteorite came. And dragged me along with it. I guess. Do you mean you actually rode here on that meteorite? Maybe. I don't know. Damned if I can remember. Why don't we go and check it out? Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel like the char character interactions are like really awkward. Sure. But maybe that was on purpose. She is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. Since they just I met. I only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. Why not? It seems like only yesterday. The smile on Lightning's face when she gave her blessing for Snow and me to get married. But I'm the only one who ever remembered that. No one believes. It's just a dream, they say. From when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. That three years ago, she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface of Pulse, and saved both worlds. That's what they say. But even so... I like the idea that Lightning is like known as this hero. Because in the original, she was very like. I'm a hunter. I feel like an interrogator. She was like a loner. So her becoming like a legend is like cool. Also, yeah, what's with the retcon? Is it a retcon or are they. Do they not know the truth? I feel like they just don't know the truth. That's <laughs> the time travel is already confusing because it's like did the time travel change it or do people misremember it or do people not know it or it was a retcon but like I don't know. We can jump. It's explained. Okay, as long as it's explained. As long as it's explained, it's probably supposed to be confusing to us. We're probably supposed to be thinking this like, hmm. Lunar monster suddenly materialized. The mog clock appears and progresses through the following indicators. Green, the enemy is immobile and preemptive strike as possible. Yellow, the enemy is moving and ready for battle. Time's up. He's gonna kill you. Take that. Oh no, not these guys. Square really likes stories like that, huh? They like to tell a story and then tell another story about how you change the first story. That's like their favorite thing to do. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but the ATB being red, wasn't that only when you were in haste in the original? Wasn't it normally green or something? I thought it was like green and then when you are in haste it was red. 
now it's always red. I guess it's blue when you select your stuff. It's kind of weird. What is this Photoshop looking menu? <laughs> Remember how beautiful 13's menu was? This looks like Photoshop. What the heck happened? At least we got the model here. That's cool. This is such a downgrade from 13's menu, though. 13's menu is gorgeous. Wait, I can change my outfit? I can change Mog's outfit? Why? <laughs> so, hey, these clothes remind me of lightness. They've got the same patterns. Really? All I know is I was wearing it. And when I woke up. Maybe I haven't woken up. Mog DLC. I like how both characters uh, attack if you get a preemptive. In Final Fantasy XIII, when you get a preemptive, the one character runs around and whacks every enemy. It looks kind of goofy. I'm pretty sure this isn't a dream. Yeah, I think this game starting off with a ton of questions is totally by design. Supposed to be pretty confused from the start. Combat sure feels good, though. Yeah, 13 what stagger mechanic that? definitely started a revolution of Square wanting to put a stagger mechanic in like every game ever. Just didn't think it would be that well, not every game ever, but they use the same stagger mechanic a lot. Hey, you look after Sarah. But honestly, 13's is still one of the better stagger mechanics. I think. The way that different classes balance the stagger bar in different ways, I feel like is still one of the better ways to do it. I don't think it's overdone just because it's pretty different in each game. The path is way too dangerous. But uh yeah, they are using it a lot. I wonder if Final Fantasy 17 will have a stagger mechanic as well. I think if they if they take a game that doesn't have one and they implement it, like if there's a stagger mechanic in Kingdom Hearts 4, that's where I'm gonna be like, all right, we're getting a little too crazy with the stagger mechanic, <laughs> you know? Like, Final Fantasy 16 had a stagger mechanic, but 13 also did, so, like, that it makes sense. And, you know, Rebirth has a stagger mechanic, but that's because Remake had one. And, you know, Remake had one, but at that point, only 13 and Remake really had them, so. I don't know, I don't feel like it's too crazy yet, but... Yeah, 15 didn't have one. And also, like, wait a second. Did Stranger of Paradise have a stagger mechanic? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so. I think it just had, like, the stamina. Oh, that's weird. This this icon in Final Fantasy 13 usually means you can just run and they'll jump, but in this game you have to press circle. Huh? What's going on here? Am I dreaming? I see it too. Pretty sure it's no dream. Yeah. 
Right, yeah. No, but I think you're I think you have a point though, because like if they continue to put stagger mechanics in Somebody every game and they don't really dream. change the way it works. Then I would agree. But for now, it feels like every time they implement a stagger mechanic, it fits within the game that they're making it. They're not just taking the 13 stagger mechanic and putting it in every other game. You know what I mean? Like, they took the idea of the stagger mechanic and then changed it to work within Remake and changed it to make it work within 16. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's all right for now. But, like, yeah, if they continue to just kind of copy and paste, like, 16 stagger mechanic into 17, then it's going to be like, okay, we're not really, like, evolving here. We just found something that works, and now we're just using it, so. What? Okay. I think I ran into a cutscene. Yeah, it's pretty different. Pretty different. Oh no, not this dude. It's the dude. So they're already teaching you to like turtle attacks, which was kind of an advanced tech in 13. Like you didn't even have, you didn't even have the ability to have a party of only sentinels for a while in 13. But here it's like starting off, we're already doing that mechanic. Which is pretty interesting. Kind of goes back to what you guys were saying about this game being the natural progression of 13. Like, they saw what worked in 13 and what was fun in 13. And kind of implemented it right away here. Yo, TV, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate you. Almost halfway to another hour. You know what else I realize? It doesn't do that stupid cutscene every time you switch a paradigm for the first time in a fight. Also, I have like no way to heal. So this guy better die. I guarantee that was like one of the first things they did. That was like the biggest frustration in 13. So wait, I don't have like a... I don't have like a Crystarium yet. We just getting regular experience. Oh, there we go. We got to fight a boss at least. What's going on inside that rock? What's going on inside that rock? We made it. Wait up. All right, hold on. We'll watch this cutscene before we move on. Seems like it's going to be something cool. I'll pause the timer real quick so we get what ample amount of time place? for the next game. I'll well, see what this cutscene is. Do you know? Yeah. Uh, wait, what happened to Cocoon? It's not there. Well, you're looking at a different time. That's the world I come from. In my world, Cocoon doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 AF, 
So that was three years ago. <laughs> For me, all that they really called it AF. Years in the past. <laughs> I was born and raised in another time. It's funny. Seven hundred years in the future. Yes, I know. This is future AF. You weren't from this world. I'm the last of humanity. Hey! Sarah, I can take you there. We can find Lightning together. I know she wants to see you. You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible. Lightning's gone, man. Godot. No. Do you know where my sister is? I feel like that was a bit exaggerated. Time gate. What do you mean? Wow. Time gate. What the? It's like a portal. Lightning is in a place oh. called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. Oh. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. Oh. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. Sometime when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Lightning, are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse, or did it really happen? Noel says he can find you, but is he telling the truth? Noel's world was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future, or so he told us. Listen, when different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. artifacts. I remember this. You have to keep like finding artifacts to like travel to different times. They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, very, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we can very, cross time uh, and travel to Lightning's world. Hmm. Normal time travel truth. story. Beyond that gate, in a place called Valhalla, is Lightning alive and waiting for me? Can I dare to hope again? After all this time? Oh, how I want to believe. I want my sister back. Yeah, I feel like this opening is kind of rushed, but at the same time, I'm, like, intrigued. You know, like, I, I want to see where it goes. So much happened the night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. We didn't get any chance to, like, get introduced to Sarah. It was just kind of like, boom, here we go. <sighs> Good morning. Hey, Chrysarium. Alright, we can at least check that out real quick. What the heck? Mog just like went crazy. A potion! Wait, I got a potion for what I said earlier? What? Look at all those characters! Holy moly. Oh, this is so different. What in the world? You just press the button and it just... Bloop. I guess the idea was like, people were annoyed having to hold down the button. So now you just press the button and it just... Bloop. But it is still like the same idea. But you don't get the pick... It almost, it's weird because it doesn't even feel like a crystarium at this point because you're not picking a path you just it's almost like what's the point of the what's what's the point of the visual 
just have a menu where I just, I mean, that's kind of what it is, honestly, but they wanted to keep the visual because it's a sequel, but <laughs> it, it almost feels like, what's the point? Because you're just pressing the button. It's weird, though, because you're on the same path. Like, each, each roll is on one path. So maybe it does matter which one you pick. Like, does the size... Does the size of the ball matter, or is it all just visual? That was kind of a big ball, but it didn't give me much. I have a feeling that you want to hit, like, specific rolls on specific balls. So there is at least some amount of choice here. For a second, I thought it was just like a list and it was all just visual and you're just leveling up based on how many points you have. But I think there is a bit of a customization here as to when you level up what. So that's interesting. All right, I do remember there being a lot more to this game, but we do have to move on. Uh, but I, I remember like the time travel mechanic being really cool and like I, the combat definitely gets way more advanced. So like I said, we're already learning like advanced techniques in Final Fantasy 13 in like the first fight of this game. So this game really is 13 2. I like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even play this game without playing 13 first because I feel like it's a really good like you know sequel I guess with like step up from 13, you know. But anyways, let me start that timer back up. And our next game Ooh, this is a hot one. This is a hot one. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. This is the game that has all the really cool cards. Every time I open up a, a card from this game, I'm like, well, that character looks really cool. I want to play this game now. Bling. is on Game Boy Advance. We're playing it on the Game Boy or the Game Boy Cube. We're playing it on the Game Boy Cube. Playing it on the GameCube through the Game Boy Player cuz it's the best way to record it. It was a day. Imagine being a day. Look at those giant snowflakes. <laughs> Tuesday simulator. We got a doggo. Don't worry, we're gonna play all the way through 13-2. Even get the plat for Final Fantasy Trophy Quest. So, we're, we're gonna have a lot of 13-2 down the line. Yeah. Final Fantasy Trophy Quest. We're gonna be getting every Final Fantasy trophy ever over the next couple of years. Absolutely not. Oh man, why do I get stuck on the weak team? We're just gonna lose. Where's the fun in that? Oh my god, we're about to have a snowball fight as a tutorial. 
Hey, Mute, where's your little bear today? He didn't want his precious bear to get wet in the snow. Aw, did your mommy give you that bear? What's your problem, new kid? Leave him alone. He's not going to say anything anyway. He's like a little girl. Hey, that's gender discrimination. And I know some little girls who can kick your butt. Just like Final Fantasy Tactics, we're getting into the, the important subjects right away. <laughs> Whoa, Ritz, what's your problem? You don't want to be on that team, right? How about we switch? Would that be better? Let's start already. I love uh, Ritz's character design. I have a card of her that's really cool. You should speak up. Tell them your name at least. You can't be the new kid forever. 14 does have a plat, and it's like 2,000 hours to get it. We are now Marsh. Sorry, Marsh. You don't have to apologize, Mute. You haven't done anything wrong. Okay, Mr. Leslie, we're ready to go. Now let's get this snowball fight started. Ready? It's the most organized snowball fight of all time. This is fantastic. What a great tutorial of a snowball fight. fight in Final Fantasy Tactics, it's like the church people getting brutally murdered <laughs> and this one's a snowball fight. Yo, Tim, thank you for the 28. Thank you for using your primer. Appreciate it, man. Tactics in general just works so well on the Game Boy. The the visual and like how everything works is just perfect for the Game Boy. I get behind cover. Hit Guinness. Do it. Tim with the two gifted subs as well. Thank you, man. Ah, that's a trick to throwing a snowball, too. It's easier to hit someone from the side or behind. That's what I was going to say, because that's an 80% chance of hitting my other dude. Point blank, back attack, take that. Flipless, take with a gifted sub. It's a brutal snow fight. <laughs> this kid's getting bullied. Critical one. All right, Moot. Time for your revenge. After 
you're getting blasted like not three times. Yeah, I'll take that. That's what Mute does best, haha. <laughs> yeah, I've played a couple of the Disgaea games. And I think two of them are on Trophy Quest. But they're gonna take a while because they're huge games. A lot of a lot of grinding. You've been aiming at Mute this whole time. Are you okay, Mute? Yeah, I'm fine. See, he says he's fine, so what's the problem? He knows you'd pick on him worse if he said anything else. <laughs> Still throwing balls out. Mute, your forehead is bleeding. From a snowball? Huh? There was a rock in that snowball. Hey, I didn't throw any rocks. It's Mute's fault for being so lame. Wow, kids. It's an easy target. We've got to get points, right? So the end justifies the means? You guys are horrible. Whatever you say, Whitey Locks. What'd you call me? We know you dye your hair because it's really all white. Yeah, just like an old grandma. Aha, a little prissy grandma. Step over here and say that again. Children, behave. The snowball fight is over. Lyle, Colin, Guinness, I want you to come with me. You does your forehead. It's okay, I'm fine, really. That's it for class today. The rest of you can go home. Just like tactics, it gets super serious super fast. <laughs> um, thank you. I can't stand bullies who pick on little kids. Those jerks. So Marsh, what are you doing after this? Huh? Why? I was going to go buy this book, and I was wondering if you wanted to come along. Sorry, I can't. My little brother's getting out of the hospital today. Hospital? Was he sick? No, it's something he was born with. We had to take him to the hospital every now and then. Again, straight to the... This really is Final Fantasy Tactics. Wow, that's rough. What kind of book are you going to buy? It's about monsters and magic and stuff like that. Why don't you bring it over to my house? I'm sure... Doned? His name's Doned? Doned? Donet Donned? Doned? What kind of name is that? My brother would love to see it. Well, if you're sure it's okay. Absolutely, why don't you come too, Ritz? Me? I'm um, G. I guess I don't have any other plans. Okay. Great, you two know where my house is? It's the yellow house, right? I'll come over as soon as I buy that book. I'll be waiting. Gosh, I'm really sorry. Uh-oh. I'm really, really sorry. Please accept my apologies. Mr. Randall, we expect a certain level of performance, regardless of circumstances. It won't happen again. Don't worry, I'll fix things up here. Oh, thanks, thanks. Thank you for waiting, shall we? I wish it said the character's names on the dialogue. For some reason it doesn't. Look at that guy cringing like that. Embarrassing. Mute, it is you. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> Man, look at that guy. What a stooge. That's my dad. School's out already? Yeah. These your friends? Uh, 
what? Do you still have work to do, Dad? Ah, yes, you know, busy, busy, busy. You all keep an eye on mute for me, eh? He used to work at a bigger company before. When Mom died, he stopped caring. He broke down big time. He seems nice. Not many parents talk to their kids like that. I bet he used to go out on vacations and stuff a lot. Well, we'll be waiting for you at my place. Mute, how much do you know about Marsh? Huh? I guess your family has had its problems too. But I heard that Marsh doesn't have a dad. Anyway, catch you later. <laughs> I'm telling you, these games, like... Tactics has this crazy way of, like, just immediately going, like, super serious. But it really grabs your attention. Like, really makes you want to play more. It's impressive how much they make you, like, invested so quickly. Ohio, welcome back. You're kind of late, aren't you? We had a snowball fight at school. I'm totally soaked. Snowball fight, huh? Did they pick on you again? I'm just not used to the snow, that's all. Yeah, you always were bad at sports. Got him. Marsh, your guests are here. Tell them to come on up. You invited over your friend? Some of your friends? Some of the Dover friends? Something? Yeah, one of them says he really found this... He found this really cool book. Man, I cannot read. I thought you might want to see it, too. You like books, don't you? You're always reading them. Only because there's nothing else to do at the hospital. Nothing except read and play games. Hello, we're here. You must be Donut. I'm Ritz. I'm your brother's classmate. And this is Mute. Hiya. You get that book, Mute? Yeah, right here, but I don't know what the title is. Even the guy at the used bookshop couldn't read it. Wow, it looks really old. Let's see what it says. Can you see, Donut? <laughs> They're so cute, all sitting around the book. Yeah, I love the colors. And the modern setting is interesting, too. Especially for Final Fantasy. going on, by the way. Oh, is this like the opening cutscene? Is that a banga? Yo, owls! Think of the 49! can't read these letters at all. Maybe there's some kind of magic spell. You might not be too far off. Look, a magic circle. Maybe this is in Latin or something? There are some later editions. What does this say? Alta Oran, Sandus Camilla. Oh god, you just summoned a demon. <laughs> Sounds like magic. Wow, a magic book. I wish I could use magic. I knew you'd like it, don't Ed. If you could use magic, maybe you'd be better at sports. God, just roasting his brother. Constantly. <laughs> Every chance he gets. It'd be cool if this really were a magic book. Haven't you ever read a book and thought, what if the world in this book was the real world? I don't know, most books are so boring. They're all way too predictable. Well, what do you like, Ritz? Comic books? Games, you know, fighting monsters and all that. Okay, if you could make any game real, which would it be? Hmm, that's a good question. I'd pick Final Fantasy, that's my favorite. They made Final Fantasy meta in this game? What? Wait, this is crazy. <laughs> How could they do this? Dude, this is like the most heartwarming thing ever. I love this. This is so, like, relatable. I love the start of this game, man. 
This is like the most heartwarming start to a game I've ever seen. It like, Tactics is always such a serious game, and it is like super serious right off the bat, but at the same time it's so like, heartwarming. I love it. I gotta play more of this. My my, look at the time. I should get going soon. Yeah, me too. See you at school, Marsh. Thanks for having us over, Marsh. Nice meeting you too, Donut. See you later, Ritz. Wait, I'll see you guys out. Be right back, Donut. Can we stop saying his name? It's like con every sentence. You don't have to say his name every time. I wish I could use magic. Donut, it's time for your medicine. Okay, Mom. It's bedtime AF. <laughs> Yo, look at the time. It's bedtime AF. <laughs> Man, I love the visuals too. It's so cinematic. In a Game Boy Advance game. would summon demons. I knew it was going to happen. What the? Don't you hate it when that happens? Don't you hate it when you just wake up on the roof of a Arabian village? Oh, where am I? Isn't that just the worst? <laughs> Most weekends for me, really. Oh, excuse me. Watch where you're going, son. You're a lizard. What did you say? I, uh... <laughs> you said lizard. It takes a lot of nerve to call a banga a lizard. Koopo, there you are, Koopo. Moogle, this human brat with you. Yes, Koopo, he's just coming to the countryside, you see? Oh man, the... the Ivalus Moogles. So great. I <laughs> don't want the slur. First we have... like... bullying, and then... the hospital kids, and then... What else? Whoa. Oh, the... not having a dad, losing a mother... Having a dad that's gone off the deep end. All these, like, super serious topics. Now we get here, we're already slinging slurs at people <laughs> on accident. <laughs> Sorry. Now we got lizard racism. <laughs> Please excuse him. He's not used to seeing Bango. Hey, you, wait. Koopo? Those clothes, you're a soldier, aren't you? A soldier? Yes, so you wouldn't mind a little engagement? Huh? What's going on here? You're getting attacked. That's what's going on here. He's engaging you, Koopo! Well, we just met! Who is that? Is he with us? 
Wait, that's Mont Blanc? I didn't even realize. That's my boy. Wait a second, I get it. Engage means fight. Yeah, put your dukes up, buddy. You sure are a keen observer of the obvious. <laughs> There's the judge and the laws for today are all set. Judge? Laws? Uh-oh, don't tell me you don't know about those. The laws today forbid the, forbid the use of all items, Koopo. Always be sure to check the laws or you'll be sorry. That's dope. Also, I saw that you get XP for attacking again, like in the original. So an engagement is a battle, and the laws are the rules for the battle. And that guy in the armor is the judge? Koopo, it's your turn, Koopo. Use your sword and your abilities. I'll back you up. Okay, here it goes. Marsh is going in. What do we got? First aid, great. That's not gonna help us much. He never expected the Marsh Inquisition. Oh! It's the Wild West out here, Nivellus. Yeah, man, thank you for the gift that's, uh... To Zack Squatch. <laughs> I had to have known the meme... The meme gifted subs were gonna start flinging at some point during this marathon. Wow, gonna support me, he says, and then runs away. Oh, wait. Dropping the big damage he dodged, though. For a second, I thought he was gonna hit me. Hopefully lose this fight. I haven't even had a chance to save or move or anything yet. Should I heal Montblanc? I don't think I can. I think first aid's only for me. Now you can, you can like undo moves, which is nice. Take this. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna actually lose. The judge gets a turn? For some reason? I'm gonna lose. I got two misses and they've gotten a crit. the tutorial fight. Mont Blanc's dead. Wow, the judge gave him JP. KO verified. One judge point. What is going on? <laughs> Mont Blanc had to come back to life to explain the tutorial. <laughs> Collect judge points. That way you can use combos with other clan members. It makes engagements a snap, Koopo. So all I have to do is defeat my opponents? Gotcha. Alright, back to being dead. Wait, he's alive again. How did he do that? He's cheating. Wow, that death sound. I think I think it's in a glitch. I think that I think he's down. Nope, nope, he got full health again somehow. He is immortal. Mont Blanc is immortal. He's got that tutorial immortal. That immortal tutorial bod. I stop missing.
Why does the judge get a turn? Why does he just walk around? Just wasting everyone's time. Take that. Crit. They're not connected, but 12 and the Tactic series are in the same world, Abibilis. I mean, I guess you could say they're connected because, like, the characters, but, like, they're not, like, really, like, the stories don't intertwine from what I have seen. But, like, it's the same world, same people. Like, Mont Blanc is in 12. up on the spells. They're not working. I do everything myself. Ooh, I guess I made it somehow. Advent with another meme sub. Thank you. <laughs> Grr, I'm hurt. Where's that potion? Can't do that. That's against the law. You're gonna be arrested. <laughs> Red card. <laughs> Infraction of law R2-4601 permitting items. All violators will be sent to prison. Now you've done it. Red card. Oh my, I actually threw the red card. <laughs> Dude just got red carded into prison. Koopo, the slammer. I hope I never get sent there. The slammer? Yeah, prison. They send people who break the law there. Oh, it's a dark and scary place, Koopo. Perpetrator sentenced and imprisoned. Visitors are asked to go to the prison facility and sprawl them. Wait, who's he talking to? He's like a robot. Sprohan, prison? What have I gotten myself into? I mean, he didn't do anything, he just woke up. Thanks for helping me. Never ever call a bunga a lizard, Koopo. <laughs> Sorry, I really didn't know. You have seen a bunga before, right, Koopo? Um, yes, well, no, not a real one at least. Koopo, where exactly are you from, Koopo? Kadoan? Muscadet? I, I don't know, I'm all confused. And to top it off, I'm talking to a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal? I'll have you know I'm a Moogle, Koopo. Fine, so you're a Moogle, what's that? Okay, I believe you, you're confused, let me explain. This is the town of Cyril in the land of Ivalis. Ivalis? That's the name of the town where I'm from. Town? But Ivalis is a country. Not my Ivalis. And there's no Liza Banga there either. What about Moogles? Surely the other towns have them. Nope, we just have normal things, like dogs and cats. But you said you'd seen a Banga, only not a real one. What did you mean, Koopo? Well, it's just, I've seen a Banga, but in a computer game, not real life. Koopo? <laughs> it's called Final Fantasy, it's not real. Not really. It's like a pretend world, with heroes and monsters. So you're saying here is just like a your pretend world? Yeah, come to think of it, it's just like in the game. Okay, now I'm the one that's confused, Koopo. Sorry, I know I'm not being very helpful. No, this is by far the most Koopo story. <laughs> this is the most Koopo story I've ever heard. You're telling me? So wait, Koopo's an adjective now? Of course, I'm not entirely sure I believe you, Koopo. I can hardly believe it myself. What should I do? I think our meeting like this was no accident, Koopo. Stick with me and I'll help you out, okay, Koopo? Thanks. By the way, I'm Marsh. What's your name? They call me Mont Blanc. Come with me, Marsh. Is Mont Blanc like a legendary Koopo yet? 
Or is this where he becomes a legendary Koopa? What's this place? This is where our clan members hang out. Clans are like groups of people who work together. This is Koopa AF. <laughs> this story is Koopa AF. <laughs> I can't even finish this sentence. Wow, everybody looks so tough. Well, our clan takes on some pretty rough jobs. Of course, the pay is good and there's never a dull moment. Maybe someone here knows how I can get back home? You could ask around, Koopo. Can I join the clan too? Sure thing, I just have to introduce you and you're in. No racists in our clan. <laughs> Sorry. Hey everyone, I'd like you to introduce you to Marsh. Um, hello. Me and the others will help you out. And maybe we can help you find your way home, Koopo. Say, Mont Blanc, does this clan have a name? Well, it's kind of a small clan, so no, not yet. Koopo, why don't you give it a name, Koopo? Yeah, so he's like not a legendary Moogle yet. To commemorate you joining the clan, make it a Koopo one. I don't know what that means, Mont Blanc. Before you were saying Koopo is crazy. Well, that is kind of a crazy name. Nutsy. What? Why would it be called Nutsy? How about Nutsy? Koopo, henceforth we shall be called Clan Nutsy. That's Koopo AF. Okay, let's get you settled in, shall we, Koopo? This is where we are right now, Nibilus. I wish Marsh had been like, why do you keep saying Koopo? <laughs> Symbols are received when you complete a mission. Place them to add new missions at the pub. Place them in a special order to reveal treasures. Try to find the special combinations yourself. So we like build the... God, this is very similar to... How do I like... There we go. Finally, I can save. Holy moly. Prison. Welcome to prison, where law is master and justice is served. Pardon? I have the ability to pardon people? Doesn't look like anyone you know is in here. No one seems to need a pardon. Keep up the good work. Okay, pardon. That's pardoning my team members when they break the law. So wait, is there like a... Is there like a... I really like this idea of having this, like, mechanic where you can break the law to, like, help you win, but then you have to, like, pardon yourself, you know? Like, that's a really cool idea. Or, like, if you break the law, then you have to fight the judge as well or something. This sounds really cool. So I don't understand. Forbid it says forbidden ice recommended fire. Let's... So, I mean, like, ice is forbidden in this area, and they recommend you bring fire? I don't get it. I was expecting to get into a fight, but it didn't happen. Oh, you get, like, a bonus for using fire. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. <laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Oh, look! Press the wrong button. Heard the 
heard the latest rumors? Holy moly. Unfair laws! Resentment, resentment towards Queen Remedy has been building these last few years. The reason? Frequent and seemingly arbitrary changes in the laws. It's gone so far that some pundits wryly say she's doing it to please that brat the prince. Looking for people to gather the fever-reducing herb musk 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 on the Giza Plains. No experience necessary. Oh, I'm cool with it. Koopo, you find any good missions, Koopo? Yeah, there was one that seemed easy enough. When can you start, Koopo? Right away! Let's get ready, then. I want you to make a your first mission a success, Koopo. How's it going, Liminality? Thank you for the bit. And welcome to the crew. Engage. So missions seem like a big, much bigger deal here. I have a feeling that instead of doing like a, like being super story driven, it's going to be more like you do missions to like gain funds and get stronger people and then like a story happens. Sarah Fig, thank you for the gift that subbed the Luminality. Appreciate it. We'll have to deal with these monsters first, then we can gather those herbs. I told you our clan does rough work, Koopo. Wait. What are the... No! No! Stop it. We can change jobs. I wonder if it's similar to regular tactics where you can like level up specific jobs and combine them and stuff. So that was definitely the best part about tactics. I mean, it kind of seems similar. You don't have to equip usable items. Like in tactics. Alright, we got Marsh, Mont Blanc, Beltran, Rain, Tonio, Susanna. Susanna, an archer? She looks like an archer. the crew. I like how the judge is even here when we're like out in the field. Horks. Whirlwind. Damage surrounding units. Punch that fairy in the face. 
40%. Oh, yeah. Sounds get me, man. Uh-oh. Red card. Go to prison. What what are the what's the law? No. I can't use missiles. how to check it in the first menu so I just gave up and figured it wouldn't be a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a massive deal. Can I fight the judge? <laughs> what happens if I fight the judge? die a horrible death. It makes me laugh that the bad guys also have to follow the laws. Kill the judge and then you can do whatever you want. He doesn't even have a health bar. He has T.O., whatever that is. Timeouts or something? Can you only do 10 of them? Can you only do 11 more and then we're like, there's no rules? I'm attacking the judge. Oh, I can't attack the judge. <laughs> I'm gonna stare right at his eyes. How dare you! How dare you arrest my friend? Hold on. It's the combo. It doesn't even tell me what it's gonna do. What in God's name? I got a JP just for doing a combo. I thought JP was what let me do a combo. To subsection B, lightning is technically a missile. You're going to jail. Going to jail, you hooligan. Thank <laughs> you. 
make everyone disappear, knock the goblin up in the air, smack him around. Judge does nothing. Shoot a single arrow, go directly to jail. Do not pass go to not collect $200. Instant red card. you attack me from the front? What is your attack hit? Cheater. Die. Since your spells always miss, just whack instead. Oh, it hits everyone. I'll heal the dead body. the same goofiness of tactics applies here. Like how you can really easily hit your party members and stuff. I'm kind of mixed on the rules, because I feel like they're kind of dumb, but at the same time, I like the uniqueness it gives each fight almost like a like a roguelike game would do definitely makes the fights more interesting but they are also kind of like annoying in a way I don't know I kind of like them I'm interested to see if there's more advanced mechanics with the laws, like being able to break them. Because I got a red card immediately, but apparently there's yellow cards too, so I'm not sure how that works. And like whether or not the enemies can also get red carded. Or if you can get a certain law that like screws the enemy team. Or maybe it's always kind of meant to screw you and... Not the enemy. I wonder if the dead bodies work the same way. Or like they disappear after a while, then maybe turn into crystals. I see the stars, so that means something. It's really fun when there are like five or six laws and three of them are no swords, rapiers, or missiles completely disabling your group, but the whole enemy team is just knights and they can't do anything at all, but the AI will still try and then win. you win the fight by having the whole enemy team red card. <laughs> See, like, I feel like that's pretty great. Like, the fact that anything could happen definitely intrigues me. I mean, I feel like if the laws weren't here, this would kind of just be Final Fantasy Tactics on Game Boy Advance, you know? It wouldn't have its own personality.
can't believe my archer got sent to jail. On their first turn. <laughs> Woo, that's all of them, I think. Volunteer, no award. Arrested. She was so smug, too. She's like, yeah, I got arrested. I'm a bad girl. What of it? What were we looking for, Koopo? Some kind of medicinal herb. Muskma something? Muskwilui. That grows all over the place, Koopo. Oh, really? Yeah, there's some right there, and over there, too. I used to pick it all the time when I was little, Koopo. The info fee for this mission was cheap, wasn't it? Hmm, well, it was pretty cheap, I guess. That figures. Still, it's probably good to start slow. Let's pick us some herbs and get back to town, Koopo. I feel like Marsh just kind of, like, rolled right into this life. Without much of a question about it. It's weird how you like build the map. So do I have to turn my mission in? Or do I already... Is... Did my mission get completed, I guess? I just got the, the AP. Oh, this one actually gets some gill. <laughs> they said gills. Gills, they're not fish. And some Kaiser knuckles. hat. Just pretend to be me, okay? Will you please take my children to play in the snow at Ludia Pass? I'll make you lunch. jail thing just cracks me up. Alright, I gotta get her out of jail. Suspended for two battles. 2,000 gil! Sorry. Don't like you that much. Sorry, Susanna. Did the crime. Now you gotta pay the tie. <laughs> She's like, you told me to do it. <laughs> You told me to shoot the arrow. I don't know what you're talking about. That was all you. I said, don't do it. You'll be taken to jail. And you were like, fire! <laughs> Yo, oh, think of the five. I like the, uh, wait, how do I tell what this is doing to my stats? It doesn't say what it does to my stats. Oh, you gotta hit start. Wow, that's kind of yikes. I mean, they kind of had limited space on the Game Boy, but still, this is kind of yikes. Happened to hit start and then like move to something else to see. Like they could have at least put like plus five there, you know, instead of just having a blue number. They should have said like plus five. 
That's a bit of a yikes. But yeah, man, I love the... I love how this is kind of based around the clan and you just go do missions to get money and buy stuff and it's it's way more like of an economy thing instead of a just going forward in the story kind of thing. I kind of prefer this. Especially for a Game Boy game. Um, and like, the story's already got me intrigued. So, man, I gotta play more of this. I'm actually really loving this game already. It definitely has its flaws, but for being a Game Boy Advance game, like, man, I absolutely love this. This tag was bothering me on this shirt. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is awesome. I'm kind of sad I missed out on this game. I'm definitely going to have to plan for this in the future. This one was, a. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say it was, like, a surprising, like, shocking that it's good. I've always heard that the tactics, all the tactics games are good. But, yeah, this one was a, a surprise to me how much I immediately enjoyed it, only playing an hour of it. Uh, Big said, this is off topic, but I stopped playing video games for a while when I started watching your videos on YouTube. It rekindled my desire want to play video games. Thanks for what you do. It might seem like you're just playing games, but you're doing so much more. Thank you, Big. Appreciate that, man. And oh, thank you again for the five gifted subs. We're all the way up to 135. 15 left before another hour is added to the timer. Uh, I paused the timer there real quick because I'm going to run to the bathroom. And then we're going to boot up our next game, which is another trek into Ibilis. Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings, which I am really excited about. I've always wanted to try this game. Being a XII fan, and also, like, I've heard many things about this game. So, I'm really stoked for this one. This is one I've always wanted to try out. So, we will do that, but first I'm going to run to the bathroom. Thank you for the guest of the game. We might not have time to do that today, but I'll do it at some point. I want to put as much time as I can into the games. Maybe when I eat lunch, I can, like, pause the, pause the timer and do it or something. I'll be back in just a second. And then Revenant Wings time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Thank you for the subs and just for watching. Appreciate it, guys. This is uh, an amazing celebration of Final Fantathon. I appreciate you being here. Back in just a minute. And now it's time for some Remnant Wings. On DS, by the way. On console. I have this DS modded for recording because we used to do Advance Wars Dual Strike speedruns. So I already have a DS set up for capture. It's quite the quite the setup to get the DS recorded. What is my monitor doing? Here it goes. But I had to go through I had to go through all this for uh the Advanced Wars Dual Strike runs. I'm gonna plug in the audio, hold on. Hopefully this doesn't blow everyone's eardrums out. Whoa, whoa, what up? 
What happened to the audio there? Uh, let's see. Should be... I think it's this. No. Pretty hard stopping. You just you're looking around, everything can't find it, and you're just ready to turn around and go home. But it's like this. Find a chair right there when the sun comes out. Wait, should be this. Did I plug in the wrong thing? That should be right. Aha! There it is. Plugged it in the wrong spot. Live stream with the 15! That's another hour on the board! Yeah, I'll change the game here in a second. Let's go. Final Fantasy 12 Revenant Wings. Always wanted to try this. Thank you again, Livestream. Let's get it. 200, let's get it. So the smaller monitor, or the, the smaller screen there is the top screen. Most of the game plays on the bottom screen in this game, I believe. You just get right into it, huh? Hello? Anybody there? A Vlan? Not who I was expecting. Well, if that's how it's gonna be, let's do this. Right near the combat. Oh, it's like the city theme. I need a... Oh, I had a thingy. Next to me, I guess I don't. Where'd I put... Where'd I put all my thingies? Oh, just grab one. of these somewhere, but I forgot where I put them. Hand icon will appear above the heads of any selected units. Touching the flame will cause the cursor to change to a pair of swords. Lift the stylus to issue the attack. Touching an open space in the battlefield will cause the cursor to change to a pair of boots. With the stylus in order to select the units move that location. Because let me do it. You just automatically attack commands and to the move command. Nothing to it. So this is like... Join the camera. 
It's very automated, it seems. Very like uh, strategy RPG SRPG style, where you have to like click a unit and tell it where to go, and then it auto fights. Not what I was expecting. Sure took you long enough. There's Pinello with the much better character design. Sorry, I got here as fast as I could. You didn't waste time getting yourself into trouble. Pinello is a healing unit. She'll cast Cure on nearby allies to restore their health. You also select Pinello, then target an ally to have her cast. Yeah, this is like really RTS style, yeah. That's probably a better term than SRPG. It takes more than healing spells to make it past these flans, you know. Yeah, so... Ah, never mind. Let's hurry up and find Baltair and Fran. They're just up ahead. And don't think... And I don't think Baltair is going to wait forever. And what are we standing around talking for? Come on. I was just about to do that, and now it's telling me how to do that. And I can't skip it. Press X to select all friendly units. That's way better. You can clear your current selection without issuing a command by touching the clear icon in the top right hand corner. You really have to show me, like, everything? I think I get it. stayed behind. How's it going, Charismatic? Stream ends when the timer ends. And we're capped at probably 16 hours. Ish. Because that's as many games as I have. Depending on how it goes. Maybe longer, but... good. I don't like moving the camera. I'd rather do it with the D-pad, but I gotta like, it's hard to reach the D-pad. You gotta like put the stylus away and put your thumb on the D-pad. Good of you to join us, Vaughn. Enjoy your stroll through the ruins. It really was a stroll. He still treats us like we're just a couple of kids. Well, at least they waited for us. Come on, let's go. And now you run. Hey, look, there's save files. Somebody played just chapter one and quit, and somebody went up to chapter three and then quit. Apparently whoever owned this game didn't like it very much. Whoa. Yeah, I'm liking the DS version of Prologue, because 12's Prologue is like... Amazing. It would seem the cache of Glabados holds two treasures. Perfect. One for you and both air and one for us. Settling for only half the treasure. What sort of sky pirate are you? Good to know someone was here to keep the lights on. <laughs> Friend. This mist so strange. It's cold. Can you fight? Yes, I think so. 
But what do we have here? Quite the welcoming party. Better not keep them waiting. That's it for it. Looks like a Yeti. Oh, I'm not controlling them. <laughs> that sound effect when they die. Vanilla running in. Vanilla, you're a healer. Yeah, it's like RTS style, like auto battle, which is not what I was expecting, but fits on a DS. Not so fast, Vaughn. What now? The legend of the Cache of Glabados. You're familiar with it, yes? I didn't know there was a legend. Why am I not surprised? Very well, I'll tell you this once, but no more. This is no ordinary treasure. It holds a connection with the Eternal. The Eternal what? Perhaps a more simple explanation would confuse less. The treasure is like a mysterious woman. You have to be worthy of her, or she'll slip through your fingers. That's... That, that's a worse explanation. I dare say you're not quite worthy of this one just yet. Better if I take it. Go ahead. Then I'll just have to take it from you. Vaughn, what are you doing? He's acting the Sky Pirate. Whoa! A little something to welcome you to our humble profession. But remember, Vaughn, the things you own can end up owning you. What? Seems our performance has brought down the house. What's happening? We've got to get out of here. The load bearing treasure. What is this cutscene? Me of, but it's a very awkward style. Yeah, it looks better on the on the actual DS because the uh, the gap makes more sense. But yeah, the the quality was a bit weird. It was over before it started. We'd only just begun to spread our wings, and they were taken away. Bond shrugged it off. He said he'd buy a new airship, and he never even talked about the treasure we'd found. It was as though our adventures were only dreams, dreams that faded day by day and under brilliant Ravenaster skies. We went back to the quiet lives we'd always led, like nothing had ever happened. But it wasn't to last. The derelict. You wouldn't believe the Mark Vaughn brought down the other day. He's sure been in good spirits considering what happened to his airship. An airship we never got to ride, I might add. Here's the characters I see in the cards. Yeah, it'd sure be nice to have some adventures of our own for a change. Life's not all adventures and treasures, you know. There's a lot to be said for peace and quiet. You're not gonna believe this. Vaughn. Tell us already. There's an airship headed toward the city, but not just any airship. It's older than any airship I've ever seen. You remember the legend about the lost sky continent? 
Hervama, the floating lands, and the border skies they wait, untrodden, unknown. You don't think the airship's really from some legend, do you, Vaughn? Only one way to find out. Come on. So I see that even though Pinello's character design is improved, she's still like the party pooper character. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to TJ. Yeah, this is the sequel to 12, but it's on the DS. I knew trouble wasn't far off. When Vaughn gets that look in his eye, it never is. I can see why they didn't call this like 12-2. I mean, it's on the DS, so obviously it should be like a spinoff. But also, like, it's so different. What's so important we have to come out here in the middle of the night? And how come we didn't bring Pinello? Shh. Just try to keep up, okay? Oh, nothing's changed. I thought, like, the whole idea of the ending of 12 was, like, Vaughn started to respect Pinello, finally. And now he's, like, running off without her again. But, I mean, I don't blame him, because she's being a party pooper again. They sure don't look like anything I've ever seen in the desert before. Something's up. You want an adventure, right? Time to get your hands dirty. Anything you need, Vaughn, I'll use magics to back you up. And I'll attack from the air. They'll never know what hit them. Why is she on a surfboard? Units deal one of three types of damage. Knowing when to use which can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Units that approach enemies and fight at close range with using weapons such as Vaughn's sword deal melee damage. Units that attack from afar using bows, crossbows, or magics deal range damage. Units that hover above the ground and attack from the air deal flying damage. Range units are designed to stand back and deal damage, leaving them vulnerable to attacks from nearby units. Send in melee units to quickly dispatch. paper scissors yo marsh how's it going we were just playing as you in the last game we don't even think i really have to do anything They're gonna win this on their own. It's weird that it switches between battle music and regular music if you're fighting. I don't think it's really necessary. Just have it be fight music during the mission. Unless there's like a lot of exploring that happens. 
Like, I think it's actually gonna have kind of a dungeon crawler style to it at some point. That's how the first mission felt. This time I think we got them all. Dual attack, Fire Aga, and Sonic Wave. We already got Fire Aga. Well, I wouldn't call it an action game because you don't do anything. It's auto battle. I know what you mean. The earliest access to a gospel in any Final Fantasy game. I feel like there's a Final Fantasy game where you start with Aga spells. I can't think of what it is, though. I heard the guards say something about thieves stowing on board, and then they just ran off. Now's our chance. Right, we better hurry. So, what are we going to do once we're on the ship, Vaughn? We steal it before anyone else does. You're going to steal it? What? It's them or us, right? Only we're going to take it so we can figure out where it really came from. Besides, it's a derelict. We'll just uh, take care of it until its real owners come looking for it. That's when there's a rotten egg. Something tells me Pinello isn't going to like this very much. Who says we have to tell her? I don't really like this story. It feels like they just threw away the story of 12, and now they're just trying to tell the same story again. Like, I thought the whole idea with 12 was like, he thought he wanted to be a sky pirate because he had to steal to survive, and then over the course of the game, he realizes that like that's not how the world works, and Pinello realizes that she can't just be mom to Vaughn forever. And then, like, at the end of the game, it's like, we're going to be friends instead of, you know, whatever our interactions were before that. But then, here, it's just like we've thrown all that away, and Vaughn is back to his stealing ways, and Pinello is back to her ways. And then we're going to not tell Pinello and then get in trouble, and it's going to be like the same exact story. I mean, like, it just kind of gives off the impression that they didn't know what to do with these characters. So this went back to what worked in 12. RTS games, but I don't really like how slow this is, and I don't like how hard it is to move the camera. I do like the menu though, it's pretty easy to get through with the stylus. And pick in grabbing characters is really easy to do with the stylus. This type of game on console can really struggle because you don't have a keyboard and mouse, but it kind of works on the DS because you can just quickly grab people with the stylus. Hey, how's it going, Stewie? Welcome to the after party. Why can't I attack? What? Why does it just say move to? Why can't I attack? Oh, are they like the... Are they like the guys in 12 that just walk around and heal you and they're not actually enemies? Start. Yeah, they're the rabbits. Wow, 
Wow, this place is huge. I do like the maps and how you get to kind of explore. I just hate moving the camera. It's so annoying. I, I do not like it. It was smart having a button that just selects all your party members, though. Point blank area attacks. Gambits. I don't think gambits... Yeah, gambits do not work the same way. <laughs> Gambits are just use an ability if I don't tell you to do it. Move camera. Feels like pulling teeth to move anywhere. The coast is clear, Vaughn. Hurry up. I wonder if it's just going to be story driven all the way through. Because in that case, like, what's the point of leveling up and stuff? I like the idea of an RTS game where I can kind of like grind and get stronger, but so far I haven't had a chance to grind. It's just mission after mission. I do like the DS renditions of the songs though. Immediately gets me 12 vibes here in the song. Here in the songs. Over there. Whatever it is, they sure are a lot of monsters coming out of it. Let's get a closer look. Alright, better, but better be careful. You know what else I feel like I'm missing from this? Creating units. Like, the best thing about RTS games is, like, creating units and, like, the economy of it, right? But there's, like, no economy here. You just have characters. But maybe later. I don't know, though. I feel like I'm just going to have characters the whole time. I don't see how they would implement, like, an economy. But that's always the best thing about RTS games. Stone. It's changing color. You can use summoning gates to call forth powerful monsters. Ooh, okay, wait. Hold. Red summoning gates are under enemy control, must be captured before they can be used. Pray before a gate to capture it from your enemy. Once captured, the gate will turn blue. You can capture a gate more quickly by sending more units to capture it. Okay, okay. So we got. Summoning gates. This might be our economy here. Looks like the cache of Glabados has some kind of power over the gate. I wonder if I can use it to summon something. I hope all the maps aren't this small. I want to see like a big sprawling map where I gotta like slowly capture each base and like move ahead with units and like capture the whole dungeon that sounds really fun but these little like small missions are kind of like eh. did you summon it Vaughn? do it again 
Uh, sure, nothing to it. Touch a blue summoning gate to bring up the summon command. When summoning an Esper, you must assign it to one of the groups led by your main characters. There's no need for the character to be near the gate. So each character gets an Esper, I guess. Monsters must really be espers. Espers, monsters, what's the difference? The less we have to do with them, the better. Well, they seem tame enough. Maybe they'll obey us. Uh oh, here comes some more. No problem, we'll use the ones we summon to fight these. Then maybe we ought to summon a few more just to be sure. Guys, hit the flyers. These guys melee. Help their range. I don't have enough affinity. See, now this, this I can get into. My only issue is moving the camera around and then going back to the summon thing constantly. Feels like it's a bit of a chore. But I like this idea. They fought for us, just like we wanted. Your very own espers, Vaughn. I'm getting the feeling that stone and the ship are connected. Let's take a look around, see if we can find anything. I think there's a way up over here. Hey, take it easy, will ya? Doesn't really feel very Final Fantasy 12-ish to be like summoning monsters and having an army, but... If they wanted to make an RTS game, this is definitely the best, or definitely a way to go about it. Vanello, forever the loser. What happened? Are you all right? Ugh. They they forced their way into the ship. You don't think Bond would do something like that, do you? You know how he is about airships. Well, this time he's gone too far. We're taking him home now. Yep, literally just like the same story. This must be the bridge. Kind of creepy. There's nothing to be scared of. You're a sky pirate, right? <laughs> Pinello's famous line, hug. Ugh, Vaughn. Ugh. I've never seen anything like this before. Everything looks so old. Do you think she'll fly, Vaughn? Aye, she'll fly, but she'll no be flying for you. Wow, it's really Bagomnin. He's back. Uh, who are they? Some snakes trying to pass as headhunters. How many times do we have to kill you anyway? Well, well, who have we here? Tire playing at pirates with both the air, did you? I settled my scores, boy, and yours is long past due. Still haven't had enough, huh? What do we do? Well, uh, we run! Take it back here! We won't be getting away so easily this time. After them! They're nay more than children, my brother. What's that? 
Do my ears hear mutinous mutterings from your mouth? There's nothing for it then. I sure, and there's not my sister. Play for me! Did I not see Bond like kill an actual god in the previous game? Tisne personal lad. You see, we're looking to leave the headhunting business for good and all. Only Begomnin and Desne take well the desertion. So you're going to replace the lot of us. The three of you for the three of us. Not a fair trade by half, but it will have to do. Don't be so sure, my sister. This one here is a right tasty morsel. You should know better than to bite off more than you can chew, you scurvy lizards. Wow, the slurs are back now. <laughs> you leave her out of this. What are you bratting on about? Cut or be cut, but be on with, 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 with it, with it, be on with it. Oh, I get it, be on with it. Kajuk, Renak, our final battle is upon us. Big a one for the ages. Oh yes, my brother. They're in for a surprise. Now let's see how tough they are. I was kind of hoping I would get to summon stuff, but it just did it for me. Forward march. Did he just... I just lose my entire army to that attack. Holy moly. We need some backup. They're in for a surprise. We instantly die. Run, Bon, run! Dude's not messing around. Kites, run! Kites is dead. I'm dead. Everyone's dying. We lost. What happened? Dude just gave us the business. <laughs> They're in for a surprise. Immediately kills my entire army. Can I skip this? Oh no, I can't skip this? That's a bit of a yikes. one of these guys went first. This guy, he's melee. So... Bring in the flyers. How are we getting slow? This guy's ranged. Melee go. This guy's also melee, but I should be able to win. Use your dual attack.
Leave me a gazer. Wow, Vaughn died. <laughs> Rip Vaughn. Okay, so it looks like you get some XP when you lose. So that's kind of your way to grind XP is to lose. because two of them, three of them are melee. tell what's going on. The units are too small. Vaughn's like... I can't even like grab Vaughn. I mean, I'm trying to get Vaughn out of there. I can't click him. There we go. of sprats like you. We should have quit while we were ahead. Let's get while the getting's good. Wait, I won? How did I win? How did I win? Didn't I beat that guy last time? I'm confused. The airship's moving. We better get to the bridge. Not done with you yet. Never forget that he who laughs last laughs hardest. He fell down the stairs. Do you want to explain what's going on here, Vaughn? Oh, Mom's here. Just where do you think you're going? On our next adventure, where else? What kind of answer is that? That, that is where we're going. Is that supposed to be rocks falling off of the airship? hate this <laughs> I like I, I like it but I feel like there's too many little things that are keeping me from loving it I guess but I don't hate it yeah I don't know why the airship looks like a butterfly but it's kind of cool Can 
Kinda looks like something out of Final Fantasy X. I also feel like the the change from Final Fantasy XII being such an open game to this being just chapter by chapter is a bit jarring. But I expect it out of a DS game. But it is kind of jarring. This has to be it. The legend, the undiscovered sky continent. I don't... Wait, I don't understand. They... So there's a legend of a sky continent that no one's found and no one has ever landed on and we steal an airship and just immediately end up there? Am I missing something here? Is it the stone that took us there? How did the stone fly the airship? Like, did they use it as a map? I don't... They just kind of... They were like, the stone will take us, and then we're just... Here we are. Well, we're in quite a mess now, aren't we? It's not our fault. The ship started moving all by itself. Okay, so I guess the, the crystal just, like, took over the airship? Don't worry. I can fly the airship. No problem. Hmm, you're certainly confident. At least I finally managed to get our guest under control. So what's the plan, Vaughn? First things first, our airship needs a name. No self-respecting band of sky pirates has a ship without a name. Yeah, it's bad luck. But since when are we a band of sky pirates? This is the adventure you've always wanted, right? That's good enough for me. Now to think of a name. Yeah, I kind of hate this story. Like, the whole idea of the last game was like Vaughn finally got to go on an adventure. And now he's just kind of like... We finally get to go on an adventure. Again. Like, I don't get it. You already had your adventure, Vaughn. I feel like this story should have been more like... Kites really wanted to go on an adventure. But Vaughn was, like, hesitant. Because he'd already been on an adventure. And then they end up taking this airship by accident or something. And then Vaughn ends up like... Okay, I'll help you go on your adventure, Kites. And then it's kind of a story of, like, Vaughn teaching Kites. You know what I mean? Like, because cause Vaughn is, like, a veteran now. Like, he's a veteran of adventure. He shouldn't be the one going, like, I'll steal an airship if I have to just to go on one adventure, you know? I feel like they should have maybe balanced the story around Kites more. But Galbana, what do you think? It's perfect. Now that that's settled, we've got a sky continent to explore. And th there could have been this whole, like, thing with Kites being, like, jealous of Vaughn because Kites was just sitting at home the whole time while Vaughn went on this awesome adventure. So this could have been this whole, like, thing where Kites was jealous of Vaughn and then they go on an adventure together and there's, like, conflict, you know? Aye, aye. Yeah, I, I see that, but the way they're talking doesn't feel that way. Daniel, thank you for the gifted sub to Splacky. The the starting cutscene with him and Balthier do, does kind of support that, though, because he was, like, going overboard with being a sky pirate during that scene. So I get what you're saying. Many of the places you'll visit, such as the airship's bridge, are filled with characters you can interact with. Some will give advice on where to go next, while others offer useful items and equipment for sale. Okay, so here we go. This is a little bit different. You can actually, like... Walk around. I've been thinking about something. You remember what Baltier said when we found the cache of Glavados? Something about it having a connection with the Eternal, right? You don't think the cache has something to do with this airship, do you? That it brought us here? It just may have kites, but what does it all mean? Whatever the answer is, I bet it's waiting for us on that island. So does... Does Pinello want to be a part of the adventure or not? The ship's real enough, but who do you think it belongs to? You got me, but she seems to have accepted us as her crew. Guess we'll just have to wait. Have to see what happens. This is the chance of a lifetime, a whole sky continent just waiting to be explored. Think of the treasures we'll find. Not to mention a healthy supply for all materials. Yeah, so? 
you're not looking at the big picture, Vaughn. We can use those materials to make new equipment, new weapons, all sorts of things. Those raw materials are treasures in their own right. Whatever you say. Well, just gather up what you find and bring them to me. I'll put them to good use. So there is at least some amount of, like, crafting and getting stuff. Daniel, good to have you here. This is a very odd menu. I'm very confused by this menu. I guess that's just looking at our inventory. Let's go, Joker. <laughs> it's just tutorials. Whoop. Airship stop. Do you think there's anything wrong with it? Maybe you should try using the cache. It seemed to work before. Aye aye. Just let me know when you're ready to get underway. Uh, well, her character design's different, but... I think I know what you mean with just the picture being different. Okay, so now we can actually pick stuff that isn't story. Oh, what the? What? Wait, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I was going to say, like, why not just do a menu? But this is kind of neat. I'm the only one having second thoughts. I suppose I'll stay here, keep an eye on the ship and our scaly stowaway. Thanks, Dimash. How's it going, Trev? Wait! Just one more thing before you go. I want each of you to promise you'll do something for me. What kind of promise? I want you all to think about what it means to be a sky pirate. Being a sky pirate isn't all thrill and adventure, you know. It's not. Not exactly. It's something we had a lot of time to think about when we were helping Ash fight the Empire. If you know the answer already, why don't you just tell us? It's the kind of thing you have to figure out for yourself. Oh, come on, Vaughn. Give us just a little hint, please. Well, I guess a little hint couldn't help. Hurt. Part of being a Sky Pirate is hunting for treasure. Hunting for treasure, that's it? It's a start. Kites, Philo, Tamaj, I want you to promise me you'll think about it, okay? I know, we can all write down our ideas in a long as vlog as we go along. I never even wanted to be a sky pirate. <laughs> I mean, uh, sure? Then we're agreed. Everyone will keep a log until we get back to Ravenaster. Right, who put her in charge? Yes, ma'am, what a waste of time. That includes you too, Vaughn. What? Alright, alright. 
yeah, I'm not a big fan of Pinello still being, like, mom character, but I do like this idea of Vaughn and Pinello being, like, the the Balthier and Fran to Kylo and Kites. You know what I mean? Like, that's the natural progression I was looking for, was, like, they've been on their adventure, now we're passing on our experience to the next people, right? So, like, I like that. That was the progression I was talking about earlier. But, yeah, I don't really get... Pinello's character is just kind of still annoying. The derelict, now known as the Galvana, brings Vaughn and his friends to the legendary Sky Continent. What a wonders await them on the many islands. All right, we don't have enough time to do this mission, but I want to at least look at it. I want to see how big it is. If it, like, gets bigger... See, this looks cool. So, like, we actually have to explore and, like, there's treasure and stuff to get. That chest is massive. I didn't think we'd find our first treasure so soon. Not much of a treasure, just some musty old book. Hmm, might as well take it just in case. If we found something this soon, just think of how much treasure must be waiting out there. Treasure and monsters. Little mushroom men. Look! We have to help him. Is he even a, a Hume? Let's save him first, ask questions later. We just magically summon a bunch of units, okay. I really didn't expect to have such big armies. I expected it to just be the boys, you know? It's hard to control all these units on such a small screen. We're not gonna hurt you, it'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this real fast. So we don't have time. I wanna see the rest of the map. It has wings. It's a demon. Wait, we have Pinello to heal, though. We don't need your berries. Imagine this game with a bigger screen and, like, keyboard and mouse. That'd be pretty banging. Like, a Steam port of this game? Could be fire. My biggest gripe is the controls. Other than that, honestly, I really like the idea of all of this. And now there's actually like a little world to explore and I have to like grab the treasures and stuff. So this I'm definitely in for. Although we can't make any new units on this map, so I wonder how that works. Like, I'm gonna run out of units. And probably have to play it pretty slow. But that's part of the challenge. Yeah, I'm, I'm like genuinely intrigued by this game. I just, I don't know how I feel about slowly moving a bunch of units on a little tiny screen and having to constantly move the camera and stuff. I feel like it's going to get really old really fast. But I'm really intrigued by like the idea of this game and where, it, you know, like the general mechanics of it are cool. An auto battle or on DS where you can just slowly build up an army. Well. I don't know, though. Do we get to build up an army, or is that just that one mission? I don't know. But anyways, let me pause the timer real quick, because I'm going to go grab food real fast. I don't want to sink too much into our next game, which is going to be... Ooh, Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Definitely heard a lot about The After Years. Excited to give that a, a shot. Darth, thank you for the five gifted subs, getting us up to 158. We are 42 away from another hour and another game. 
Yeah, I'm excited for After Years. Let me go grab food really quickly, and then we'll jump right into After Years. Thanks again to everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, just thank you. Thank you very much for being a part of this event. It means a lot. I'll be back in just a minute. I got my lunch and... Fanta round two. That's right. Round two of Fanta for Fantathon. No shot. All right. Restart the timer. And here we go. Final Fantasy the at for the After Years, which is on the Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection. That is the uh, only way to play it, I believe. By the way, every game we're playing today, we are playing the physical copies. Um, the only exception being uh, the ones that don't have physical copies. The digital game, like uh, 15 mobile thing. And Type-0 actually own the digital copy and the physical copy, so I think we're just going to play the digital copy. But yeah, every other game is just like Fantathon. We play in the, the real deal. Can we get that what sound death makes as an alert? Uh, no, we're playing, the, um, we're playing the PS4 version because the OG PSP version was Japanese only, actually. I didn't know that it was until just recently, but the PSP version actually released only in Japan. So we're playing the PS4 version, which I have played before. Everything I play is always on original console. Especially for Let's Plays, but, and for Final Fantasy. But, yes. Unless otherwise stated, always on OG. Or at least console. I don't emulate anything. Wow, that PSP load time. I guess this was a good game to eat lunch to. Is it even loading? It's spinning. Oh my god. It actually took that long to load. Holy cow. Holy crap, that was wild. I mean, I know it's a PSP. I don't expect it to be strong. But who wants to wait that long on a handheld game, you know? Like, handheld games, you want it to be fast and, you know... You want to be able to pop it out and play it. This cutscene is beautiful though. Dude, I severely underestimated the PSP. The games on this console are freaking gorgeous. Like, look at these cuts. This is PSP. This isn't PS Vita. Like, look at this. 
Like, the PSP is such an impressive console, it's crazy. This was mostly doable because it's on a CD. A small CD, but still a CD. But man, it continually impresses me how good the PSP looks. Hey, Ursula. You would expect it to be, like, at the very most, a, a handheld PS2, but instead it's more like in the middle of a PS2 and a PS3. And then there's, like, Dissidia, which, like, is apparently massive. Pretty good. Dude, it's so cool seeing these characters in full animation. Some of my favorite characters of all time. Good to see them in all their glory. Dude, Rydia looks incredible. Rydia looks actually incredible in this game. So, we can actually play Final Fantasy IV also on this, which is pretty dope. Might have to check that out. You know what? Real quick. I just want to see how it looks. Imagine playing all of Final Fantasy IV on your PSP. Oh, look at it. The, the music's kind of... The music's kind of... The music's a little... Not a fan. I I need that SNES beep boop bop. This is too I don't know. Muffle I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it's not good. I don't like it. I mean it's passable. Passable, but once you play this on Super Nintendo, it's hard to accept it any other way. Alright. We're not here to play that, we're here to play After Years. Oh yeah, I forgot, that just puts it to sleep. Oh god, I shouldn't have done this, we gotta wait for this long load. Alright, I'm pausing the timer. Cause good lord, we gotta sit through this freaking load again. <laughs> I'm gonna be here a minute. It's fine, it was worth it. I wanted to see what 4 looked like. It was worth it. I'll pause the timer. I'll suffer a bit longer. What's the new generation of retro games? Are you saying, like, what's technically retro now? I still kind of go with, if it has online capabilities, it's modern. So I usually cut it off at PS2. Even though technically the PS2 had online capability, but not out of the box. Okay, that loaded like a thousand times faster. What the heck?
Maybe I'd have to, like, install something the first time. Anything that doesn't have HDMI is retro. That's pretty much the same. Starting with the PS3, pretty much. It's weird. It's weird being in my generation and calling the PS2 retro, but I think it's I think it's safe to say it's retro at this point in general. Maybe not to us, but in general. Oh. Making a mess of myself here. Long ago, this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time inexorably marched on. The day of departure has arrived for the heir of the Holy Paladin. Why does this look like a DOS game? Dude, I've had that happen before, Redleys. I don't know what the heck that's about. Twitch needs to fix that. In the skies above the airship, two moons rise listlessly. One ominously grows even ever larger. Why is this dark harbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystals shed only their silent light. I liked that version of Prelude. Theodore's Tale, The Last of the Red Wings. So is, is this like a collection of short stories, then? like where are they now for each character pretty much Captain Biggs the Adam and Isle is in sight very good you don't look well, Prince Theodore. I can tell you're nervous about this. After all, it is your first deployment. Try talking with some of the other soldiers to take your mind off matters. Danim and I looks peaceful enough at first glance. I'll give you that. The D-pad cancels the dialogue, which is weird. But there's this grotto there, a holy land of sorts. All night trainees train there at least once. Your father, King Cecil, achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Did you know that he actually served as captain of the Red Wings before becoming king? Nice sound effect. Blink, 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 blink. Monsters don't play favorites. Royalty or peasants, they aren't picky about their prey. It's just as true for us Red Wings, too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here on this ship. We are currently on our way to the Adamant Isle, a very small landmass in the middle of the ocean. It is the staging ground for your initiation trial and becoming a knight, my lord. It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father Cecil is to see your family taking on this task. Now what? Red Wings are the pride of the Baron, the most elite of our kingdom's forces. We may not be at war, but our training regiment is as fierce and grueling as always. Yeah, so my view is a bit less vertical. I don't know why... It stretched vertically on the on the capture, but that's that's the actual capture I'm getting is square, even though it shouldn't be. So it should look more like this. Uh. 
so like I could do this. Looks a little better. But yeah, the PSP capture just isn't great. This is coming right off of a PSP. So I mean the I think the the resolution is like I don't know 380i or some nonsense, so <laughs> that's the best thing yet. I suppose so. I can certainly understand what you're going through, my lord, but considering your bloodline, there's nothing for you to be worried about. My bloodline? Yes, my lord, you have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Cecil the Paladin and Queen Rosa the White Mage. That doesn't mean anything. I am just another soldier being tested for knighthood. Even on my display, it looks a bit blurry. It's just the game, the, you know, the resolution itself. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're no soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. Joining the Red Wings isn't the easy lark it was back in C King Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today, too. Believe it or not, this is through component as well. Prince Theodore! you got a lot to learn, boy. Starting with how to keep that mouth of yours shut. Well, ready to touch down on the Adamant Isle, Captain? Good, all hands, landing stations. He's gonna throw his carcass onto the island and say good luck. In Jack Sparrow style. it would be possible to upscale the PSP because it's like a really small resolution but it's through component I'll have to look into it if we do a let's play of any PSP game if we do a let's play of this someday The only PSP game we've let's played so far was Crisis Core. Crisis Core looked pretty good, so. Here's our stop, Theodore. The Adamant Isle. In order to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and await further orders. Got it? Yes, sir. Can't hear you. Say it like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Hmm, as sorry as ever before. Now move out. Or Theodore. Holy crap, I'm huge! Wait, I want to hear that song. Still not a fan of the, the PlayStation sound format. It's not as beat boopy as the SNES, doesn't hit as hard. But this game is only on PlayStation, so like, it's fine. I don't notice it as much as when I'm hearing like, the actual four songs. I'm a collector of rare tales from across the world. Do you have any on ya? Hmm? Need a rat tail? Oh, I can run. I'll get you a rat tail. I've heard it's very good, yeah. Your mission in this trial is to obtain the Knight's Emblem housed deep inside the Adamant Isle Grotto. There's one condition, boy. You can't enter the grotto until the moon is at its fullest. You'd best get yourself ready before then, mentally and physically. Is there any reason why I have to wait for the full moon, sir? Ha! Ah, you don't know about that either? This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. 
Yeah, you should go back and watch the cutscene at the start. Cutscene was awesome. Hey, hey, we're the Mithril Brothers, and you're we're ready to rock, baby. We would be anyway if I hadn't lost my precious ring. Maybe I dropped it while I was resting in the tall grass. <laughs> Immediately finds it. Here's a little something for finding the ring. Go ahead, take it. It's 500 gil. I'm gaming. I already got a better sword. Dude, that door sound effect. <laughs> it sounds like he's barging in. So there's like a time mechanic in this game? Sounds like a crushed Pepsi can. <laughs> Captain Biggs is waiting for you at the grotto. Please hurry. games with the like crazy amount of enemies Pepsi is gross such an Ohio thing Pepsi is like one of the most popular drinks on the planet late even to your own mission man what a worthless squire they stuck me with we're about to begin our journey into the adamant Isle Grotto not to repeat myself, but your orders are to obtain the Knight's Emblem. If you want to cut and run like the spoiled little prince you are, now's the time. Oh, did that hurt, boy? Well, quit pouting and get to your, go get your provisions from these chests. Bullshit. How's it going, Taro? We do coke here. <laughs> Sounds about right. Finally found some resolve in you, huh, boy? Get on with it, then. <laughs> Florida motto. We do coke here. Should I heal? Holy cow, Biggs and Wedge. Huge. That took like all my MP. What's up, Bopsar? Ha, here we go, Theodore. Theodore's slow. I imagine you're already aware of how the phase of the moon can affect you on the battlefield. It's a full moon right now, so black magic is more powerful. White magic hasn't changed at all. We'll take a look at the commands. Physical attacks have been weakened by half. Wow. Commands strengthened by the moon phase are displayed in green, while commands weakened are displayed in red. Make sure to pay attention to these colors during battles so they could have a major impact on the outcome of the fight. You guys are just gonna whack him anyways. Heroes! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs! You cannot perform a band with someone unless you have some kind of bond with that person. Deep bonds. Yes, my lord. Allow myself and Captain Biggs to demonstrate. First, you must choose who you want to band with. 
Next, you choose the command your partner should execute. For this demonstration, Captain Biggs is my partner and he will select attack, setting off the ban. What if Captain Biggs chooses something besides attack? Then the ban will fail before it even began. Man, they're adding a lot of interesting stuff here. When it's my turn, we'll press the right button to display the ban command. Once you choose ban, you'll have to select a partner. In this case, that would be Captain Biggs. After that, once Captain Biggs' turn comes up, select attack. Everything is set a square. Whoa! So we got like, like dual attacks. That's yeah, basically like Chrono Trigger attacks. Interesting. Thank you, heroes, for getting us to the second funny number. Can I band with someone? What? I don't know what happened. Oh, the band has to charge, I think. Band failed! Because he doesn't like us. Okay, Theodore, it's all yours from here. Don't worry, Prince Theodore. Remember, you have the blood of King Cecil and... That has nothing to do with it. Prince Theodore? Looks like you've got at least half a backbone in you. Get back here alive or forget about making the Red Wings. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they were trying to, like, be better than the original here. It feels like they're just telling little stories to help boost the lore of the original characters and add a couple mechanics to, like, make it interesting, you know? Kind of feels like a Final Fantasy IV DLC, which is kind of what it is, in a way. I only wish... I could play it on the SNES. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> Playing it on the PSP just feels like it's... kind of, like... It, it feels too far removed from 4, I guess. I don't know. Even though you can play 4 on this as well, but... Can somebody... Can somebody Google it? And tell me if this is the only thing that's released on. I think it is. This is the original release. But did it ever release on anything else? Did it... Did it release on Steam with the Steam version of 4? Okay. So maybe on Steam it would be... Feel a bit better, maybe. I mean, it doesn't feel bad here, it's just... Something about the PlayStation sound font and just the way it feels, like, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't feel like Final Fantasy IV. Kind of feels like a fan-made game or something, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, look at, look at, look at how I... It kind of feels like an RPG Maker game or something, you know? Just the way the models look, the sprites look, and how kind of not, it doesn't feel as polished, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably reading way too into it. I've only played 30 minutes, but. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe I should play the Wii version then sometime.
yeah, something about it just has like a fan game feel to it. It's not bad though, by any means. Like, especially, I'm already interested in the story because we already know these characters, but we get to learn more about them. Like, that's really cool. I, I would be willing to sit here and play this all the way to Rydia just to play as Rydia because I love Rydia. music again and stuff, even though it sounds a bit different, is cool. Just seeing the characters, and that cutscene at the beginning was awesome. If we get more cutscenes like that, which we might, because PSP loves cutscenes. Is Theodore really fast, or are these enemies just really slow, because they never get a chance to hit me? Yeah, it, that's why I feel like it's like almost like a DLC because it's harder. Like they're not, they're not afraid of making it difficult because they figure you've played the original. We did an entire Let's Play of Legend of Dragoon Monster Hunter. You check it out on the channel. And we're going to be doing a Platinum run of it very soon of the, the PS4 version. Like, it's next on our list. But... The original... We played through the entire original version as a Let's Play. On the channel. We're doing all the pixel remasters for Final Fantasy Trophy Quest, because they do have Platinums. Also, I hate the fact that the D-pad cancels out text. I keep accidentally canceling out text and I hate it. That was cool. If you ever make an RPG, if you're watching this and you're like, I want to make an RPG one day, for the love of God, do not have the D-pad cancel out text. This is my TED Talk. I like how they're like, we have to go during the full moon. Because it makes black magic stronger. And then I don't have black magic. It weakens my attack, and all I have is my attack. They did this on purpose, they hate me. Yeah, just don't even use the D-pad at all, honestly. Just remove that crap. I want voice commands for everything. Walk forward! Step! 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 That's how I want to control my game. tracker <laughs> mind reading device I used to have this um I used to have this Harry Potter board game and the way it wore you you wore like this thing and then you had to like think with your mind and it would cause the fans to turn on 
and blow air and it would make the ball levitate. And then you had to like move the ball through a maze and you were like controlling it with your mind. That's how I want to play Final Fantasy. No, I did not drink. Okay, listen, I will pa- I will pause. I will pause the timer. I will show you. I owned this thing as a kid. Here it is. It's only a hundred dollars on eBay. Man, I should have kept it. It's like worth something now. Here it is. Levitating challenge. Ball actually floats in midair. It looks like you just turned the thing though. He's not wearing nothing. Maybe I did make it up. I don't know, the direction said you had to like, use your brain, but I think maybe that was just a, maybe they made that up. You had to say Wingardium Leviosa. Then it worked. Anyways. I did have mind control. I was a I was a wizard. You can't tell me I wasn't. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing can defeat the imagination of a child, heroes. Nothing. Prince Theodore, are you hurt? Stay back, please. This is, this is my battle to fight. You don't have to push yourself so hard. My father and my mother have nothing to do with this. I, I... I'll get through this by myself. He's dead. Theodore's latent potential as... Okay. I am Super Theodore. Yeah, the broken glass transition is cool. That's a cool effect. Princeidor. Wedge. Kira. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. I knew you could do it, Prince Theodore. You have amazing powers hidden within inside you. Now you're a full-fledged knight, my lord. We're leaving. Our work here is done. Secret. I like how quickly you can go through the fights. Iron gloves. I kind of hate the sound effect of the menu. <laughs> it's 
that's kind of grating. Bling, 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 bling. Like, this sound effect's fine. For some reason, the menu. Bling, 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 bling. game does. Makes me want to play Final Fantasy 4. <laughs> More than play this, I just want to play 4 again. But man, having this game on the go, that would have been dope. Like, imagine playing Final Fantasy IV and then buying this and playing this on the go. Too sweet. So the PSP version is sold on the Final Fantasy IV Complete Edition, which has Final Fantasy IV on it, as well as the After Years. So you can play both on the go. But obviously, the PSP version of Final Fantasy IV is a bit inferior to the original. Yep, we're playing on a PSP. Yeah, believe it or not, which is probably easy to believe given the quality, this is actually an official PSP cable that you can record on. They actually released a component cable for the PSP. Sony did. But the resolution is not great. It's honestly kind of terrible on my monitor as well. But it's official. It's an official way to record it. Which is funny to me. Because like no other portable console has had an official way to record it ever. With the exception of like the Game Boy Player if you want to count that. But It's not, it's component. So I don't actually know how upscaling it would work. I'll have to try it sometime. I think I tried it with Chrono Trigger, or sorry, Crisis Core. And I think this ended up looking better than the upscale resolution. But I don't remember. Because we did do an entire Let's Play of Crisis Core with this recording setup. But Crisis Core looked a bit better than this, from what I remember. Um, Wedge, Captain Biggs, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thanks for being a jerk. Really appreciate it. I really like the part where you slap me, silly. I almost died. I expected nothing less from you, Prince Theodore. Huh? We must hurry to the airship. We'll get near full if we're late again. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm basically playing the PSP on a TV, but it's going through my capture card. That's basically how this works. Yeah, so like... The Game Boy has the Game Boy Player, so you can record it through there. But like, 
none of the Nintendo consoles have ever had an official way to output video. Like for the DS, you have to get it modded. For the Game Boy, you got to use a player. Um, and even the Switch, you have to have it in the dock for it to get output, right? So like, it's really weird. The Vita never got one either, but for some reason, the PSP got a component. They made an official component cable for it. And there's a there's an output on the bottom of it, which is really interesting. I don't know why they like for some reason. I guess they thought that like I I think the idea was like the PSP could just be like a controller and you could just plug it into the TV. So kind of like the thought process behind the switch in a way. But like they quickly realized no one cared. <laughs> Because they never made one for the later PSP models or the Vita. And they never tried anything like that again until the PlayStation TV, technically. Um, and again, this this cord is pretty, like, poop quality to begin with, so... It was probably more of just a, let's see if anyone's interested in this... ...kind of project. But it's a cool little tidbit of Sony history that they they made this cable at all. How's it feel, Theodore? Sir? How's it feel to be a knight? Uh, I'm not sure what to say, sir. Of course you aren't. The knight's emblem is just a name. You risked your life in there to obtain a mummified rat tail. Have you figured it out yet, boy? You don't become a knight just because you obtained the emblem. Retrieving it was simply a test of your resolve. You've only arrived at the start of your journey. There is yet a long road ahead before you truly belong to the Red Wings. Yes, sir. Amazing, Prince Theodore. I can't wait to see you become a paladin and follow in your father's footsteps. I haven't made up my mind about becoming a paladin yet. Why not, my lord? With the blood from King Cecil and Queen Rosa, surely you could be... Incoming attack! Calm down, soldier. You call yourself a Knight of the Red Wings. But, Captain, we have monsters. Countless swarms of them. What? I was going to derank her. Here they come! Brace yourself, Theodore. Hit him with the Fyra. Holy moly. Yeah, I feel like I looked into a couple different ways to record the PSP back when I did Crisis Core, and this was the best option. But uh, if we ever do a if we ever do a let's play of another PSP game, I'll be sure to try again and see if I can find a, a better way so it's not as blurry. It's authentic. It is kind of cool, like, recording it the way that... Like, the actual way they wanted you to... Display it. But, yeah, they... They kind of... They kind of discount... Discounted this... Cord, because it's not great. Gah, how there be so many of them? Smoke is coming from Baron's direction. From Baron? Full speed ahead. Prince Theodore. You gonna get a cutscene? Nope. The disc was spinning, I thought maybe we'd get one. 
My liege, a large horde of monsters is headed this way. What? Cecil looking dope. But their numbers were supposed to be dwindling. You stay here, Rosa. It's cool seeing Cecil and Rosa together. Protect Rosa for me. Yes, sir. I don't think she needs protection. Cecil. Don't worry about me. Just stay right here for me. Nice writing. Where are they coming from? We don't know, sir. There's so many of them. All of you, stay on your guard right here. Yes, sir. We'll guard the throne with our lives, sir. Oh, yeah. What? Miss 15 Pocket Edition. They've already made their way inside the castle. Wait, was that a secret? Hold it up. This is my castle. I get all the goods. Whoa. I love that zoo sprite. Such a classic. And Cecil, unkillable. It's gonna take me an hour to kill these enemies, though. We still have Dissidia 12 to play. I love holding X. practice in Final Fantasy 15. Ah, oh, where are those monsters coming from? Probably the sky, if I had to guess. I like how it is the original castle. Did I just run? Because, like... What are the point of these fights? Look at that run animation. <laughs> Should I make a... a slow jog away from these enemies? A power walk away from these enemies? Zombies! Wait. Check this out.
and die. <laughs> It was, it was a cool idea. Take this. What? Is it on top? Can a king get some help, man? Too many enemies. Yes, the screen is slightly blurry. Because we're playing on an actual PSP. Ermy Sandals? Is that the incredible bulk? Is that Blanca? I don't want to talk too much about Rebirth at the moment, Tob. But uh, next week when we're back into it, you can ask anything you want. King Cecil! Get inside the keep, it's too dangerous here. Yes, my liege! Apparently the moon just changed. Bomb crank? What the? So wait, do my attacks actually deal damage now? Oh, they deal even more damage. Yeah. Now I can actually kill stuff. I don't plan on doing any Xenogear doubles. Kinda just wanna take my time with it and enjoy it. I think the only time we'll do doubles is when like, we're near the end and we wanna just finish, you know? But for the time being, the Let's Play will just be back to the normal like four hours that way we can do other stuff like i want to start doing the final fantasy 9 run on fridays at some point i'm getting blasted by these bats oh yeah i see what you're saying yeah we might do we might do rebirth on friday afternoon now that you mention it good chance we do is uh, awful. Thanks, I hate it. Right, get me out of here. <laughs> These fights are terrible. Not a fan of this section. How do I get out? Get out of this. I guess I gotta go like all around the castle and save people, but these fights are annoying to do with just Cecil. Could have at least given him like a cool ability or something. Just whack and stuff. That's one fire. I mean, all I can do is cover, and I have no one to cover, and white magic. Are you okay? Still though, very much enjoying this game. Uh, I'll have to look into the other versions of it too, if we ever do play it. Oh, here we go. No, you can't. I will not let you put yourself in danger. Brother, it's Rosa. She big strong.
If worse comes to worse, I want you to run. Run and survive. And leave you to die? Yes, for Theodore's sake. Okay. Wait, she's a white mage too? Come on, guys. Your marriage does not make a good party. What in God's name was that noise? Come on, I want to fight something with Rosa before we switch games. That's a moon. That's two moons. Oh my god. That's wild. You don't have to donate me Lies of P. I very much am going to play it. I was really excited about it when it came out. But then everything else came out at the same time. All right, Just snapshot of every character ever. Yeah, I really enjoyed the demo. And then I put it on our, it's on the current events list, but it'll be a bit before we get there. Whoa, the song though. Is that Sid? You're dang late, Cecil. What have you been doing this whole time? Glad to see you safe, Sid. Of course I am. I haven't slowed down that much, you know. What I'd like to know, though, is where these monsters came from out of the blue. I wish I knew. Hey, jam. Where's Theodore? He's on an expedition with the Red Wings to obtain the Knight's Emblem. He ain't back yet? There's no need to worry. Biggs is there to take care of him. Well, I guess we better do something about this place ourselves. Wouldn't want to spoil his celebration banquet. Oh, we got Sid. All right, we got to fight something. Got to fight something with Sid and Rosa. Before we quit. Give me an enemy. Grab to strike. Risk strike. Oh, she got all sorts of stuff. Got it. I'm guessing that's a free heal. Prayer unanswered. <laughs> Hate to see it. She kind of doesn't look like Rosa. Like her... Her sprite. Looks weird to me. Alright. We'll leave it there. Cool game. Like... I... Even just the story alone. Like, being able to see what happened to all these characters after four and learning more about them and stuff like that's enough to get me interested in the game for sure um but yeah just i mean just experiencing more of the final fantasy 4 characters is awesome and uh this collection is also really cool the the complete edition having the full game and the after years this definitely seems like an awesome pickup on the psp so with that we're moving on to our next game which is going to be chocobo's mystery dungeon everybody our first newer game our first ps5 game of the day ps4 technically here we go chocobo's mystery dungeon I know nothing about this game, other than the fact that it has a platinum and we'll eventually be doing it for a trophy quest. But I, I genuinely don't know anything about this game. I'm guessing it's kind of a reimagining of the Mystery Dungeon series. But is it like a remake, or is it just like its own thing? I genuinely don't know. DLC buddy. Okay. The music's already pretty fire. Normal mode. When you collapse in a dungeon, you won't lose equipped items. Enemies are more powerful than normal, and when you collapse, you lose all items. 
Oh, that sounds kind of long. Sounds kind of fun. Oh my god, it's this Joko GP. Was not a quest. Head for the tower in the sands. You're certain to find what you seek there. Epic. Right into it. Here we are. This, this is, is the Tower in the Sands. It harbors timeless power if you believe the rumors. Is this a Final Fantasy XII song? I think it is, isn't it? 12 or 13. I think it's 12. Final Fantasy 1? Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Ready, buddy? Also, it's voice acted. Or at least the first part of it was. Glad to see you raring to go. First, let's take a look inside the bag of yours. Can you stop let's making that noise? Wow, thanks for telling me to look in my bag when there's nothing in my bag. I didn't... I didn't mean to use that. This is pretty good. Alright, give me like two seconds. I want to go put my food away. I'm going to pause the timer. I'm going to put my food away and go to the bathroom real quick. Back in just a second. Let's roll. Oh, the other thing too, I just realized, I was saying earlier when we're back to Rebirth next week, and then you were like, what about Friday afternoon? Not only are we probably playing it Friday afternoon, but we're gonna be playing it tomorrow night too, because Thursday night, probably gonna be playing it, so. Actually, I have two more Rebirth days this week. I just wasn't even thinking about Thursday night. Where did I get my shirt? Uh, I don't remember. I honestly don't remember where this shirt came from. This might have been a Yeti shirt. Ye ye Yeti.com, I think. Or could have been a fan gamer shirt, but I don't think so. I think this is a Yeti shirt. A Yeet E shirt. This is the wrong controller. I'm playing so many games today on so many different consoles, I don't even know what controller to pick up. Hey, this is a mysterious dungeon. The layout of a mysterious dungeon changes each time you enter. See those items lying on the ground over there? Dungeons like this always have lots of stuff to find. Hmm, looks like a pair of talons and a saddle. They'll come in handy. Go over there and grab them and equip them. Is he going to do that every single time? So yeah, this is very similar to the old... Because I know like the old Choco Dungeon games had that same kind of thing as like the Pokemon dungeon games where there's like a little readout of everything you've done and it's very like old style RPG. Wait, it's like a whole animation every time I equip something. Those materia slots? I don't know this. Oh, I'm eating. So there's a hunger mechanic. Oh, 
hold down R1 and you'll move diagonally. What? What? That's so odd. <laughs> Why not just hold diagonal to go diagonally? Invisible trap. Press X to uncover the trap. twice <laughs> how do I turn without moving so I can attack a different direction how? can you not is that just not a thing you can do once you go to a new floor you can't turn back that means if you forget to pick up an item or didn't search an area you're out of luck Cha. sounds like a Charmander or something Yeah. So you finally came across an enemy. Now, Chocobo, in a dungeon like this, it's really important to keep track of your turns. Remember you move or act, the enemy moves or acts too. Make sure you remember that above all else. Try to swing with X and make the enemy walk into range. Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. Yeah, so I've never played any of the old Chocoa Dungeon games, but this is exactly what they seem like whenever I see gameplay of them. Very similar to the Pokemon Dungeon games. Wow. I like immediately... Surrounded me. Hey, thanks for the help, Sid, by the way. Yeah, I think the, the dungeon games tend to get really difficult. And then also there's that hard mode where you lose everything when you die. So it sounds like there's a good a bit good bit of challenge in this. Hold the menu with triangle and select ability, then hit him with your special. It's gotta be in front of me. Take that! Look at that. You okay there, Chocobo? You're looking pretty pooped, which means you need this. Sid's extra special potion. In other words, the tutorial potion. <laughs> the you can't die, we're still teaching you how to play the game potion. Alright. Looks like we got through that in one piece. Let's move, Chocobo. The treasure's just ahead. I can smell it. Yeah. Hold it. <laughs> well, long time no see, my fellow courageous treasure hunters. Irma and Volg. Well, I wonder. Not Irma. Would this be the treasure you were talking about? Timeless power. Well, I'd say you were a tad too late. Was that that chocobo had like an old man voice? This is very fitting music. <laughs> As we're getting blasted into the space time continuum. Honestly, I kind of love the the vibe though. It's just a it's a fun game.
the savior of a forgotful town. Some goofy looking there. I think I'm still in one piece, but what is this place? Why is the why is the chocobo just staring off into space? What's this? Who are you folks? The fountains are for water, you know. We aren't the tower in the sands anymore, are we? Hey, the name's Sid. This here's my buddy Chocobo. We travel the world hunting for treasure. And now that you know who we are. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the town of Lost uh, My name is Gay, and I'm the mayor. The mayor. Huh. I can't quite remember for sure, but it feels like it's been a long time since we last welcomed visitors to our town. The town of Lost Time? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Chocobo, do you think we've somehow ended up in another world? Who comes to that conclusion? <laughs> Immediately. Must be another. I've never heard of this town. Must be another world. Because I've literally that? heard of every town Sounds ever. Sounds like a bell ringing. Wait, what? Ah, uh, that's the bell of oblivion. It makes you forget just about everything. What? More importantly, who are you again? If you've already forgotten, perhaps it was never worth remembering in the first place. Precisely. If you forget all your troubles, they're a lot easier. To Why is the music no so loud? No memories means everyone can just be happy. What is this? Ah, Rebirth? Roach, a glory. It's just as we all say. Forget you. It's no trouble, no conflict, all anger and sadness. What are you I saying? Hey, hey, hold can on. Can you speak up? What's wrong with you people? Oh, Miss, have we met before? You look vaguely familiar. Hmm. No, I don't think I know you. Oh, well, I guess this is the first time we've met. Of course it is. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our town. Hey, wait a sec! Don't listen to these people! Shoma, don't be so rude. How about acting more grown up? Not to worry. And who might you be, Missy? Sherman. How's it going, Roxas? Sherman I live on Stella's farm just outside of town. But listen, I know you her. have to hurry out of here. That bell's going to ring and you'll lose all your memories. Sherma, we, we've talked about this before. It's not like we're the ones who are ringing. Everyone forgets? Because of the bell of oblivion? We need to go. When that bell rings, you'll even forget who you are. What's the problem with forgetting things? <laughs> Oblivion is bliss, you know. Are you serious? You want to give up your memories of the people and places you love just like that? These Would people are demons. Get out of here. Down, Shirma. It's not too late. We're happy to have you live with us in Moss Tide. Absolutely not. Come along with you. Aunt Stella's farm is safe. It's far enough away that you can't hear the bell. Hello? Let's go. And see you nerds. Thanks, Sherma, was it? We, uh, what was I gonna say? It was, uh... Don't push yourself, Sid. You give yourself a headache trying so hard to remember. Just come in and rest, why don't you? Square Enix and their Your people friend, forgetting their memories. Sid, right? Finally fell asleep. He must have been really wiped. Yeah. You're plenty lively, though. I'm Stella. Nice to meet you. Oh, are you saying thanks? Sherma, since when do you understand Chocobo? 
Meaning's clear as day to me when I look into those big shiny eyes. Is it now? Not to me, I'm afraid, but I suppose you can interpret for us. So, where are you from? Why come here of all places? Auntie, I don't actually speak Chocobo, remember? Just say Kwe or whatever, and he should be able to make sense of it, right? That... How does that work? Uh, you really think so? Um, okay. Kwe... <laughs> How dare you say that about my family? Huh? You've actually understood what we've been saying the whole time? Are you kidding me? Why didn't you say so? Did you just want me to squawk at you like an idiot? Oh, I bet my accent was terrible. What's going on? How did you know that that's what he said? He just said Kwe. Uh, how did you know that he knew that you knew what you were saying? Oh, well, uh, uh, hey, no. Okay, I'm now sorry. we can speak. But I'm you confused. Don't have to apologize. Gear, gear, gear. By the way, he and his friend Sid are treasure hunters. <laughs> ah, all right. So, <laughs> What happened to your staff? You usually carry it everywhere. Huh? It's gone? Oh no! I must have left it somewhere in town! Oh dear. Are you going back to lost time? I have to, Andy! I've got it by my staff! I know it's important, but still. Chocobo, would you please go with her? Yeah! Yeah! I mean, it do just be Pikachu, though. I'm not going to argue that point. He is Pikachu A. <laughs> oh, my God. Not this dude. and hero stands for hush hush but that's not how wait that can't his true identity is Just losing their his mind every time someone says something. Okay. Yo, I got the alpha chocobo. I'm not using it. It's a pretty sweet looking map. Oh, it's very entertaining. 10 out of 10 entertainment value. Uh, uh. 
Bow wow. All the fires in town have gone out. Wait, I don't know you. Or do I? I'm Al, the protector of lost time. I'm a good boy who patrols day and night and keeps the peace. I wonder if it was fate that brought us together today. Anyway, here's woofing at you, kid. I love him. He's a good boy. Oh, Chocobo! I found my staff! See? Here, get you! Huh? There are voices coming from the clock tower piazza. I wonder what's going on. Not gonna lie, I read pizza. Clock tower pizza. The Chocobo also sounds a lot like Klonoa. You probably all know why I've called you here. We can't seem to use fire in town anymore. As you can see, uh, we, we can't light lamps or, or cook food, and our fireplaces serve only as uh, interior decorations. That's right! My cafe can't even serve hot cocoa! You see how it's a problem, right? I tried taking a bath, but the water was so cold. It was like soaking in an ice cube. I hope people like eating sushi, because my fish soup's an absolute bust. Isn't there something we can do? I don't even know what the cause of the problem is, much less how to fix it. But don't worry, there's a prophecy. And it says a savior is on the way. A savior? <laughs> what can an out-of-towner do that we can't? Hey, what's going on? It suddenly got very dark. Look! What's that? We're dead. Like for us! Oh, it's the fidget's over, folks! Run for it! <laughs> ah, run for your life! It's the Final Fantasy VII Meteor. in this game is absolute fire. Looks like it, Sharma. Strange thing to fall from the sky. Wait, I think the egg is... It's really Magic. random, but it's amazing. Vincent about to pop out of this egg. Sure, babies don't come from eggs that fall out of the sky. That's where you're wrong, Mayor. That happens all the time. Wait, yes, that's it. This baby is. Oh, we all just forgot everything. Could it be? Hold on. What did I just think of? What was I doing again? Yeah, clearly this guy doesn't live in Ohio. That's how we get our babies. You, you just heard the bell go off. Oh no, the baby's calling now. This this is insanity. We haven't even like played the game yet. This kid is just out of control. It's just. Huh? What is happening? This is so unhinged. What is going on? Is 
the brooch of memory. I was expecting some goofy dungeons with chocobos and friends. Instead, I got a space egg baby disappearing into a whirlpool of puzzle pieces inside of a mayor's head. Is this the Megamind sequel? expected this game not to have much of a story. I expected it just kind of be like an infinite dungeon crawler thing. But, uh... I did. I mean, I actually needed that advice, though, because I was trying to figure that out earlier. But, like, what in the world is happening? <laughs> game is crazy. Oh my god, that happened so fast. I wasn't expecting it. the exit. Oh, I... I started right by the exit. What the heck? I don't understand these hidden traps. Does it really expect me to go around doing this the whole time? In case there's a trap? Final Fantasy 7 World, there's no live stream. I mean, I guess there could be, but... I don't think there is. And this wouldn't be the live stream anyways. It's inside his head. points to increase your rank and become buddies with monsters of that type. this uh, dungeon crawler 
style. It reminds me of like the old uh, Flash games I used to play that were like this. I never really played a console game like this. Well, I guess I've played a few that are similar to this, but I never played Mr. Uh, Pokemon Dungeon games, which are probably the most memorable of this style of game. Is that a total? I've always heard kind of mixed opinions on them. Like they're... They're a bit... For a certain crowd, I guess. You know, like not everyone's gonna like them. This game definitely has that... Square Enix... Square Enix, uh... Spin-off style. Where it's very goofy and nonsensical. Which I'm not against when I'm in the mood for it. Or going in with the understanding that that's what it's gonna be. Why is that red? I thought maybe that meant it was like locked and I had to kill all the enemies to unlock it, but it looks like I can just go. Maybe it means there's a boss on the next floor. Isn't it technically the same genre as Hades? No. <laughs> Not at all. system is a bit odd. I don't like how I have to go through the menu and scroll over them to see what the stats. Like it should just be in an equipment menu. But I think it's because you have a limited amount of inventory. Because that's kind of part of the part of the gameplay loop. Probably have to sell stuff to make money. a job memory to gain the ability to change to its corresponding job. It can be a knife. Yeah, a newborn can definitely say that. That's definitely how babies work. There is only one thing, one rule that must absolutely be followed, and that is to forget. When you forget, conflict, anger, sadness, everything's wiped clean away. But when you remember things, it only brings disaster. And as mayor, inviting disaster is unacceptable. Oblivion is a virtue. I love my I love nihilistic themes in my and goofy chocobo game. Town's mayor. Turned 
talking about. Ah, okay. I see what you're talking about now. My eyes. This baby, his name is Raffaello. Mayor Gale? Yes, yes indeed. I've remembered something I'd forgotten. But the baby only just appeared from the egg. Why would you have the memory of that? Hmm? <laughs> uh, now that you mention it, uh, perhaps it is a little odd. Uh, yeah, just a little. Nevertheless, I, I'm sure that... Uh, hmm. Hey, that's it! Mayor Gale can remember something by being around the baby. Maybe Sid will regain his memories too! I don't think that's why he remembered. I think he remembered because I jumped into his brain and made him remember. Where Have you not been here for the past 10 seconds? Chocobo! Raffaella! Let's get back to the farm! Is this going to be one of those games where I do all the work and then the characters never understand that I'm the one doing all the work? It's going to be one of those games. I remember something else, something important. I've left the storage facility locked this whole time. There we go, now the storage facility is back in business. Yes, Deet? Is something the matter? Yes, my name is Deet. My entire life is nothing but torture and anguish. I'm sure Blaru at the storage hasn't forgotten. What's with your guys' names? Yeah, you know, I like everything I'm seeing so far. I think my only complaint is I'm not a big fan of, like, games that try to be serious and goofy. Like, I'd rather just be one or the other. You know? Like, serious with comic relief, yes, but like, this game's just completely bat crap insane. But then also, like, trying to be serious. No, I mean, like, silly. Like, you know, obviously, Final Fantasy VII cracks jokes, that's just comic relief, but like, this is like insanity. Like, babies falling out of the sky and everything being goofy. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's not that goofy, honestly. Maybe the, the baby was really the only goofy thing. Everything else is kind of serious. Maybe I should just approach it as a serious game. It kind of has just been serious so far, other than the baby. But the characters are being serious. Like, the, the characters are talking seriously. So never mind. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just went in thinking that it was a goofy game, but I should have gone in thinking it was a serious game. Of course, dear. I believe what you've told me, though it's still pretty incredible. My word, he's learned my name already? Oh, I simply melt whenever I see a baby's adorable smile. I don't know. I think it is, because all the characters are being serious. You know, it's not like they're... We don't have Ifrit running around as a fireman. Like, I mean, it's like being serious. Other than the fact that I'm a chicken. Doing chicken stuff. Come on, Sid. Think. No, uh, too much thinking. No, stop. Don't force yourself. This isn't working at all. Can't you do do can't you two do something? Yeah, I think it's I I think it's just a personal thing. Like I just don't like it. Like World of Final Fantasy, I just could not get into because the characters were obviously just joking around. Like just being like complete goofballs. Like the the main the main characters were like especially the guy was just like super stupid and that was like the joke was that he was so dumb there were basically cosmo and wanda from fairly odd parents 
where they just were like Cosmo was just like the dumbest thing ever. And like everywhere you went was just jokes. Like you went to the Final Fantasy X world and they did the ha ha joke and, you know, everything was jokes. Right. So it's like, OK, then I get in like the mindset of like, OK, this is just the goofy spinoff, funny. Ha ha. We're making jokes, making references like, you know. Like, got it. But then near the end, it suddenly tries to be this serious story about personal change and all of our friends dying and oh, like they try to have this like super serious moments. And I'm like, I, I can't I can't take this seriously when it's in the same game that has. If saying you put the heat in if and what the honk and all this other stuff, you know what I mean? I think some people can definitely do that, but I, I just, I don't know. I get like, I got to have it one way or the other. I can have a serious game that, that is goofy at times, and I can have a goofy game that's serious at times, but when it tries to like mix them too much, I'm just like, I don't get this. Like I don't, and Square Square does that a lot, honestly, with a lot of their games. They like to be, you know, like the remake, for example, like the remake is probably a very good example of a game that's, serious but then gets like super goofy but i don't know something about that works better maybe it's just i go in understanding what it's going to be you know like because i see this game like I, I don't have the cover because it's a digital game but i see like this game and i don't know it just gives me the feeling of like oh it's just gonna be like a goofy romp with chocobo you know like it's just gonna be like a goofy fun chocobo game and then, like, it's nothing but serious. And I don't know, it just kind of, like, throws me off. Uh, it, it might just be the way I'm approaching the game, honestly. With World of Final Fantasy, I didn't know what it was going to be. So I just went in, like, with no thought at all. And then, as soon as I met the main characters, I was like, okay, so this is just a joke. Like, the whole game's just a joke. So then when it tried to be serious, I was like, I can't take this seriously, you know? But I think that's a me thing. I think other people can easily go from serious to goofy and not bat an eye. <laughs> I will I will contend that World of Final Fantasy was a pretty terrible game, to be honest. Like, even regardless of my opinions. It was a great game in terms of, like, the gameplay. Why is the baby in here again? The baby didn't get sucked in, did he? Oh, wait, yeah, he did. Then there's this guy. What? How did he say that? It's advice time. Chill. All right, we're going night. Power smack. Apparently your equipment doesn't change when you change jobs. Sid's dreaming about airships. Leather saddle. I don't have the option to kick items. Uh, Man, the music is so great, though. Like, I can't wait to hear what song they use next. Because it's so random, you don't know what you're gonna get. Oops. I forgot the map! R.I.P.
It's a ghost. What am I done? I've loaded the entire dungeon. Can't hit him. Give him power smash. Take that. You can now bring Steel Bat along as your buddy. I'm curious how the buddies work. Yeah, I'm a knight. I got a sword. I got a sword and a helmet and everything. I'm a full-fledged knight. Do, 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 do. Face him. Do this because I want to get I want to bring a buddy along because that's kind of the main gimmick of the game is the buddies that's not what I meant to do I moved one extra spot an accident the dude ran up to me and I just blasted him I couldn't carry teleport wings. Am I out of space already? Chow. So yeah, item item management is definitely going to be a thing. I haven't even gotten the chance to like sell stuff yet though. me goblin I got nothing to say to you This 
on PS4. Playing it on the PS5. glasses I hope every dungeon in the game doesn't end with the baby crying I hope this is just a an early thing the tower in the sands that's the last place anyone ever saw my grandfather also thanks so much Fennekins for the gift that's up appreciate you man the mystery of the, the trail of clues all ended here but this was my grandfather's dream, and my father's after that. I'll never give up. The whole reason I became a treasure hunter was to find it, to find them. That's right. My name is Sid, the great treasure hunter Sid. I pretty much liked them all. Tactics Advance was the one I probably liked the most so far. Blah blah blah, give me the next dungeon. Starting to worry that this like never opens up and lets me just like explore dungeons. So far it's just been story. But that's kind of common with these games. You're usually kind of stuck in a story for a little while before it opens up. So it can teach you everything. Stella, is there any place? We're only playing for an I'm hour, so gotta let it cook longer. Chocobo. He can Chocobo. All right. Back to Vincent. Music. I'll check here around. Jenna. Thanks. Is in your hands. It's random, but it's kind of cool because you never know what you're going to get. Just some random banger from a past Final Fantasy game every, every other song. I also kind of like... I don't know if this is an original song, but if it is, I like this song. Oh, <laughs> I don't care. Stop telling me about things. It's gonna ring, huh? I'm sensing a theme. Anyway. Wait. Looks like Riku. Yeah, a little bit. Taller Riku. Alright, I just wanted to see what the buddy thing is like, since that's like the main gimmick of the game. It's literally in the title.
Oh. Freaking. Uh. What's the name of the town? I had it and then I lost it for me. Oh my god, shut up. Is this timber? Timber thing? Okay. So we got Sid, Bat. How many buddies do I get? Just one. And I just get one. have the same level as Chocobo. Their level increases alongside Chocobo. Hold circle to move toward an adjacent buddy to swap places with them. Tag team battle. So they just kind of fight with you. Actually about it. I wonder if I only ever get one. In which case, I'm not sure why you wouldn't just pick the strongest one you have every time. You kind of have to position correctly to get them to help you fight, though. Okay, if you hold circle, you can do this. Otherwise, you just push them. So there's definitely some interesting puzzle solving with like getting your dude in the correct position and also you can have them like fight for you you can like swap places with them and have them fight instead of you this just let them fight interesting all right well, that's enough of this. It was really cool. We're, we're going to be back with this game because it has a platinum. So we're going to be doing this game at some point for Final Fantasy Trophy Quest. Um, but a uh, cool game. Definitely interesting. Um, I've always wanted to play some of those dungeon games because, like I said, I've seen them, but I've never really played them. I'm going to have to try one of the Pokemon ones as well to see how it is similar and how it's different. Because obviously this kind of copied off of that. Or at least I think it did. I think the Final Fantasy ones came after the Pokemon ones. Maybe not. Maybe Pokemon copied off of Final Fantasy. I honestly don't know. But that's it for this one. Let's move on to our next game. Ooh, this is a big one. Before Crisis Final Fantasy VII. A game that we've always wanted to try on stream for lore reasons. And one that we're definitely going to have to run all the way through at some point on the channel. Alright. Here. We. Go. So this. Is a big one. Before Crisis Final Fantasy 7. For those of you that don't know. Before Crisis. Is a. Japanese phone game. That's all it was ever released on was Japanese phones. Um, but it has a lot of really important Final Fantasy VII lore. It has um, the only, I think, the only um, reference of Dene, the Red 13 girl, and... Also, like, a bunch of stuff with Red 13's past and, like, the Turks capturing Red 13. Pretty much everything to do with the Turks and, like, old Avalanche as well. All the stuff that happened pre-Final Fantasy VII. Um, but, like, before Crisis Core. 
Um, all that lore is in this. Um, Cisne as well. Yeah. All the Turk stuff. So it's a really important Final Fantasy VII game. I wonder if it'll even show up. It, it, there's no way it's going to show up in the Twitch thing. Oh my god, it does. It actually comes up in the category thing. So what we're actually playing is a quote-unquote remake. It's a port of the game, but then translated to English and playable on PC. So it's more of like a port, like a, a uh, translated port, but it had to be like kind of remade so they can actually play on a PC. So this is fan made. And it's pretty, yeah, like a fan made rebuild basically. And it's pretty crazy. How, uh, how good this actually is. <laughs> From what I played, I only played like a minute of it, but. And it's got jams. Really loud jams. It's got some some jams. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> this was on when I, I'm trying to remember when this came out. But this was on Japanese phones before phones were really advanced. <laughs> so it's pretty, uh, yeah. What is that one cycle? <laughs> Oh my god. The the avatars of the characters actually look pretty good though. We the security department are far superior to soldier. Uh huh. This was on flip phones. 2004. So yeah, this was like before smartphones. This was on phones. Now that you're a Turk, you should have a cell phone so that you can keep in contact and call HQ. Just in case you need to buy supplies. Hey, get, gave me a cell phone. So we're we're shotgun. I believe. I believe this character is just kind of known as the player Turk. Hi, shotgun. Welcome to the Turks. Would you like to hear a story of about a mission I was a part of? You bet. It took place before the calm incident in which Veld was involved. Oh, okay, we're in a cutscene now. This is the company ship I was told about. The reactor guard that was abducted might be inside. It is a perfect place to keep someone prisoner. It sure is worth investigating. Why would they go to all the trouble of abducting a single guard? Could they be after the intel on the Maka reactors? I have to rescue him and prevent any information leaks. <laughs> oh my god, that phone sound effect. Sir, I have infiltrated the ship. I'll start the search for a missing guard now. Okay, however, we still lack any intelligence regarding the situation on board. Then I'll search for the control room first. Good idea, any information you obtain may prove useful. But be careful, don't forget that this is enemy territory. Yes, sir. You can fight enemies in real time during this chapter. <laughs> it's long animation. So now we're sung. We have escape. Excellent. What in the... What is this? What am I doing? <laughs> Oh, 
Take that. They weren't. They weren't kid. I died. That was a bit abrupt. <laughs> I'm glad I died though, so we could listen to this song. Why is the music so like why why did they go so hard on the flip phone game music? That's just like Square Enix to do that. So wait, do I even have to listen to the to Sung's story? Is that just like a side thing? We got a v movie? Is this the trailer for the game? What is this? Did we just run into the trailer for the game? I guess it's like the opening cinematic. Could you imagine playing this on an old flip phone? I'd be losing my mind. Reno looks nothing like Reno. Sung's greatest weapon, a phone. is crazy. I've never seen this. That's kind of a Crisis Core soundtrack vibe, which makes sense because it's for Crisis. This looks like freaking Persona. This is the picture I see all the time when I see people talk about before Crisis. Is that picture there? for Nokia phones. Our revolution begins tonight, down with Shinra. There goes that boy. We're going to secure the route to our main objective. Move out. Shinra soldiers, we'll kill anyone who stands in our way. Halt, entry into this area is forbidden. Down with Shinra. Rip that guy. All right, we're splitting up from here onwards. You two stay here and wait until our main forces arrive. These are your orders. You're to patrol Sector 8. This is a standard job all new Turks must perform. As a company tradition, your seniors Reno and Rude, even I, started off like this. The war is over and the town is peaceful, so I doubt you're running into any trouble. Treat this exercise as a real mission. This job should help you prepare for future duties. Roger, leave Sector 8 to me. The long awaited day of Shinra's downfall is in sight. Don't go messing things up now. Down with Shinra! Downfall? Of Shinra? Who's there? A uniform. She's one of Shinra's special forces group, the Turks. What do you think you're doing? You overheard our plans. We're going to have to get rid of you. Immediately runs into trouble. <laughs> oh my god! What is this? I'm fighting a blur as another blur. Let's go. I won. 
Blur number one wins. How do I pick a command? Oh, there we go. I pick me first and then a command. I'm gonna die a horrible death. <laughs> go team blur. Give me a report on what happened. I just murdered two people? I was attacked by two men who seemed to be plotting something. They were saying something about down with Shinra. Down with Shinra? Who could they be? We need to know more. Go see if there are any in the, more in the area. Are we going to like talk about the fact that you were like, this is, you're going to run into no problems and then I immediately got attacked? Michael! Think about the primer. Feldser. There seems to be a disturbance in Sector 8. There have been reports of men planning an attack on the company. What? Are they working alone? Is this the work of a group? How are they planning to attack? I have our newest recruit, Shotgun, looking into the situation. I don't feel comfortable letting a rookie handle it. Keep me apprised of the situation. And see if you can get someone in there to act as support. Yes, sir. Why did it get suddenly really loud? I need you to capture these men and try to get information out on them. Yes, sir. Let's secure this route. Don't let anyone through. It's the Turks. I'm not letting you get past me. I better call for reinforcements. There's too many. Oh my god, they just appeared. There's too many of them. I better get out of here. Peace out. I'm wiggling out of here. <laughs> Sir, it looks as if these men are working in a group. Tell any of our agents that are close to the reactor to get down there straight away. I've already gone ahead and done that. Okay, we've cleared a path to the Maka reactor. I'll set up the explosives. You stay here and keep watch. We, Team B, will enter the reactor as planned. Move out. Man, organized. Sir! There's been an explosion at the entrance of the reactor. What? So they're targeting the Mako reactor. We've in invested a lot in these reactors. If Avalanche destroys any of them, the company will be in turmoil. How do we know it's named Avalanche? Why did we come up with the word Avalanche? Wait, I thought we didn't even know if they were a group yet. Sir, if that reactor explodes, it will take that entire sector with it. Stop them. Don't let any of them reach the reactor. This is really important. The reactor's underground entrance has been blasted open. It's my fault. I'm sorry. How is it my fault? Don't worry about that now. They are going after the reactor. You must stop them. Roger. You there. Whatever it is you're trying to do. Stop it now. Shut up. Get her. More blur action. Mine it looked like I was playing a guitar when I used that item. I'm gonna need another potion or I'm gonna die a horrible death. There's six of them, I don't stand a chance. Where do these people come from? The Turks, ah, not even you can take out six of us all at the same time. Get her. Hey, rookie, looks like you have quite a mess to clean up on your first day. Reno, I thought you had other orders. I've been called in to be your support. Don't worry about it, rookie. Let's finish this up as fast as possible. Got it. <laughs> so anyways, they're dead. Okay then, rookie. You go on ahead and stop them from messing with the reactor. I'll take care of these guys. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you in no time. Yes, sir. Look at Reno's swag stance. Impressive. Just what I would have expected from you. Reno, the fastest of the Turks. You sure know a lot about me, don't you? Said one thing about you. It's only common sense to know thy enemy. It's basic battle strategy, but that speed of yours is no match to me. Oh really? We won't know for sure unless we test that out, will we? Interesting. Then I'll have you test your skills against me. Let's see the true strength of the Turks. Yo, dynamic signal the raid. How you doing, man? What am I witnessing? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's lock down this area. Nobody comes in or out. Hurry up and set the explosives. Once we break through this door, we'll have access to the Mako reactor. They're after the reactor. They're going to try and breach it, the main passage by blasting through it. 
Stop them at any cost. Roger. I'm just gonna shuffle over here. Grab this red thing. I found a red materia on the ground. Learned fire. That's not, that's, I, I, that's not, what did, it's, that's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's my last potion. Hit him with the foil. That was pretty cool. Nice dodge. Yes, found a potion. The dead body is just like a shrunken version. Daniel, they give the good sub the dynamics. We've been found out. I'd better set this bomb quick. Down with Shinra. Oh my god, that's so brutal looking. Oh my god. Can I just walk past this guy? No. Don't get in our way, we're so close. Stop them from setting off the bomb. Good work. You've helped avert what could have been a disaster. Turn to HQ with Reno. Yes, sir. Reno didn't make it after all. Oh, Reno died? Okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Get out of here, rookie. This guy is trouble. You're finished. Reno! He was all talk. You're next. Wait, did he die? Did Reno die? He was still standing there. Why is he just standing there? Menacingly. I'm dead. You've lost. He's strong. Who is he? Mr. Shears, sir. I have a message. Fajito is saying that we're all to gather at Junon. Alright, you take care of these Turks here. They're just about finished anyway. I've got to kill these two quickly and get the June on. I'm not going to let you get away with this. So, suddenly I'm standing. Okay. <laughs> I have full health now. All right. Nice. Excellent. So, on a scale from 10 to 10, how amazing would this game have been playing it on like a Razer flip phone back in 2008? <laughs> regardless, regardless of the jank, dude, I, I would have been losing my mind playing this. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm trying to remember, like, the games I used to play on my flip phone. I had, like, Snake and, like, Breakout and, like, the crappy Solitaire, maybe, if I was lucky. I guess I did. Who are those guys? I don't know. Sir, our intelligence reports have come in. According to them, we were dealing with a large terrorist organization called Avalanche. Okay, well you just said that earlier. Well, what happened? What happened? You, you went. We are still investigating, so that is all we have established so far. Have you found anything regarding their movements? They seem to be gathering in Junon, sir. Junon? That's not good. The president is there right now. We've confirmed that President Shinra is in Junon. He seems to be there for a military inspection. We're going to head there immediately and meet up with the Shears group. 
Understood, sir. Preparations are complete. Have you found the whereabouts of that man? That man I asked you to track. The silver-haired soldier? No, sir. We haven't been able to confirm anything as of yet. Please, try to establish his whereabouts as soon as possible. If they bring him in, all our plans will have been for nothing. Yes, sir. Now then, everyone. To Junon, let's move out. Down with Shinra! Down with Shinra! In the white light of day, the assassin smiles. What is that? Is that a dog? Is that like a little picture of a dog? What is that? What? It is! I... Why am I a dog? What? I'm losing it. This is so wild. Yeah. Year one. PM one. We've reached the hotel. After the president's quarters immediately. We're waiting for you there. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Keep up the good work. The president is waiting for you. Down with Shinra. President Shinra is in this hotel somewhere. Find him and kill him. Man, the dead bodies are just so brutal. They, like, go blurry and just fade into the background. It's, like, so brutal. We'll be looking out for you from here on, sir. Man, look at that. Fat president. Feld sent you, didn't he? That's good thinking on his part. Avalanche, is he... What was that just now? It's all right, Mr. President. We'll protect you. I found you, Mr. President. Down with Shinra. Oh, great job protecting him. Are we inside of a... Like, great or something? What? Where are we? Are we in an air vent? They managed to get past the security guards. They're well organized, aren't they? Are these the renegades from Midgar? How dare they? Sir, are you alright? Yes, Veld, I'm fine. Sir, Avalanche is after you. I really think you should put off the inspection. If you proceed with your original plans, you'll make it easier for Avalanche to carry out their objective. No, we will continue as planned. We have to show the public that we are not affected by a snibbling band of miscreants. Very well, I've sent additional reinforcements to the hotel entrance. Keep up the good work, rookie. Thanks. Wait a minute, sir. I've wasted enough time. We're going. Oh, rookie, what's your status? Oh, okay, rookie. The corridor is clear. Get ready, then. We're heading out now. Understood. The, the president... We've left the president behind. <laughs> Watching them try to walk around is killing me. What in the... I can't even tell. I mean... Wait... We'll hold our news conference in the Junon branch office's press room. Gentlemen, I'm counting on you all to watch my back. Yes, sir. I'm the president now. <laughs> president Shindra, here's something to remember us by. Sir, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, but they... The road. Hey, rookie, I'll take care of the guy up there. You make sure the president gets to the press room safety safely. Understood. This will be finished in no time. I'll look after the president. <laughs> what is even happening? <laughs> I, I truly have zero clue what's going on right now. <laughs> I made it <laughs> The sniper You go and take care of that worthless insect I won't feel safe until he's dealt with Yes sir, please be careful while I'm gone Alright Up the Take out the sniper
Are you serious? Dang it, I've been found! I've never lost a gunfight before. Let's go! I've never lost. I'm a legendary Turk, even though I'm a rookie. <laughs> oh, yeah, the... Yeah, maybe. I don't remember exactly what they said. I know there was one part where there was a sniper, so yeah, maybe. Wow, the president? I've got to hurry. What is that? I found an ether. Nice. Yeah, one of the one of the test things was like there's a sniper, and you have to def defeat him before he kills the president. That may have literally been from this. Mr. President? The guards have been killed. Come with me, I'll take care of the situation. <laughs> Mr. President, get out of the way. Alright, here's the plan, President. Run. Oh, okay, that didn't go so well. Oh my god, I can't- I'm like... dumbfounded by this game, it's incredible. No, I wanted to use my potion. Didn't give me time. Hit him with your fire magic. Boom. I better heal. Fire. God, there's two of them? I'm dead. I can't win this. I don't think I win this. The potions don't heal enough. Oh my god, the crit. The clutch crit. Oh, let me heal, please. Thank you. Moving on. We're finally here. They've been told we're coming. Don't let your guard down until this meeting is over. I'm giving you the responsibility of keeping the president safe. Understood. This way, please. Hmm. It's this way to the conference room, Mr. President. Hmm. I have a message for you from your boss. He wants you to watch the entrance of the hotel to make sure nobody gets in. I understand. Those aren't real. So that, that's... We just gave the president over to Avalanche. 100%. What? Who did this to you? They're imposters. The president is in danger. Oh, no. You tricked me. Down with Shinra. Mr. President, get them. Yes, sir. Down with Shinra. <laughs> the way he was like, hmm. Hmm. Let me heal. Oh god, there's two. <laughs> this game is wild, dude. Absolutely wild. What does the cell phone do? I have no idea. 
gonna run out of potions. This guy's gotta start dropping potions. You better drop a potion. There were two of you. Okay. Oh, good. oh nice, I got two potions. Wait. What's the self do? Oh, we can buy items. Yeah, hold on. Don't fight me yet. I got 320 gil. I can buy Ultima for 10,000 gil. Permanently increases HP by 10. That's not very much. Listen, uh, I'm protecting the president. You may want to give me some of this stuff for free, like just saying. I'm gonna buy a potion. Down the Shinra. <laughs> I know the music. The music is so loud, but then sometimes it's quiet. I won't stand for this, but the public is on our side. Yes, sir. Sorry I'm late. Reno, thank goodness. And so, my people, the Junon army in the, is the people's army. They're here to serve and protect you all. Therefore, psst, rookie. Looks like everything is going down smoothly. Not really. That's a relief. Huh? A blackout? Rookie, stay close to the president. Got it. There's been a slight issue with the Mako generator on your floor. Is the president safe? Everything's fine at our end. Reno, you stay with the president. Shotgun, go and isolate the problem with the generator. You heard the boss, rookie. Yes, sir. It seems as if they were able to restore power faster than I had anticipated, but that shouldn't pose too much of a problem. After all, we've stopped President Shinra from airing what I'm sure was a heartwarming speech. Avalanche! Heh <laughs> right on the mark. You've already remembered our name then. Don't move. Oh, please. There's no need to be rude. My name is Fajito. I don't believe we've met in person before. Hmm, this guy looks like he might give me a bit of a challenge. Hee hee hee. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad we were able to have this little chat together. Unfortunately, we must part ways. Wait! Good timing. I'm going to take the president summer safe. You keep this fajito guy busy. I'll try my best! <laughs> now I want a fajita. And I'm dead. game really likes auto-lose scenarios. What's this? Are you tired out already? Well, if you'll excuse me then, I think I'll take my leave. Wait! Hee hee hee, please don't fret. The day you take your last breath surely approaches. I will ensure that. In the meantime, please enjoy the fireworks show we've got planned for you all. I'm sure you will find it most delightful. Fireworks show? Please understand, I only have the very best of intentions. Well, do take care. We got an emergency situation. Avalanche has seized the Mako Cannon. Go there at once. If they fire the cannon, it will destroy headquarters in the whole of Midgar in one shot. So that's what Fajito meant by fireworks show. I've got to go stop it. So now it's the Mako Cannon again, not the Sister Ray. You got a video call, sir. It looks like you're having some trouble there, doesn't it, old man? I've been watching you from a closed circuit feed. Are you all right? Oh, Rufus, it's been a while since I last heard from you. That's Rufus? <laughs> anyway, Rito, I've been watching your new Turk in action. She's not bad. What's her name? Shotgun. She just started today, sir. I'll remember that. Tell her I look forward to see her in action again. Sir, we've got an emergency situation. Junon's Mako cannon has been seized. What did you say? They think they can do whatever they want? Veld, I want you to move the security system from A to S. Oh, no, not that. Yes, sir. Rito, I want you to head to the Mako cannon. Get it back, no matter what. Roger that. Those annoying vermin. I won't let them have their way. There's no way they can take my Midgar away from me. Hee hee hee, so we meet again, President Shinra. There's no need to fear. Your death will release your soul into the life stream and help this planet. What's he, Sephiroth? This won't hurt very much. I promise you it will be all over soon. Ah! We're heading to the cannon. <laughs> there they go. The amount of cutscenes blows my mind. Sir, Mr. President, I'm not dead yet. I'll get them. Sephiroth, call Sephiroth. 
Oh, Sephiroth just got done murdering a uh, behemoth. You know, as he does. <laughs> that cutoff when it does the victory music. Oh my god, I need a minute to like absorb before I move on. This is like wild. What? Why? Why does this Vahito guy continually almost kill people but never kill anyone? Like. First it was the other guy, but then it was Fajito twice, who just like, almost kills someone, and then he's just like, eh, I'll kill you later. <laughs> what in the world? This is the wildest video game. Okay. Why am I a dog? Why am I a dog on this screen? I don't understand. Swords clashing in the evening shadows. What are they even talking about? What does that even mean? Swords clashing in the evening shadows. They're just trying to sound edgy. How was Revenant Wings? It was alright. I, uh... I didn't really like the the camera movement. It was like really hard to get used to. But like I didn't hate the actual gameplay. The story was kind of eh because it just felt like 12 again, like they didn't have anything new to do. But I did like the, the RTS style was like fun. And I liked the characters. Avalanche has seized the Mako Cannon. They've aimed it directly at Shinra HQ and the rest of Midgar along with it. Looks like they hope that they, by destroying Midgar they could send a clear message to the company. The battle between Avalanche and the Shinra company has escalated even further, it seems. Will you look at that? Are you guys ready for this? We're gonna bust our way through this blockade. Don't let anyone get through here. We're gonna keep this road blocked off until the Mako reactor is ready to fire or cannon is ready to fire. Alright guys, listen up. If that cannon goes off, it's goodbye Midgar. That's why we're going to do everything we can to get that cannon back. Victory lies ahead of us. Move out, down with the Shinra. All right, we're going in. Charge. I've reached the underground passageway, sir. All right, I'll explain the situation to you. Avalanche has shot the president. Hate to see it. They've also seized the Mako cannon. That's why we moved security from level A to level S. Hate that. This is Shinra's emergency fail-safe security system. That's right. Of course, we've also moved the cannon security system to the highest level, effectively shutting them out of the system. That's encouraging. Belt is with the president right now. He's going to be coordinating our movements from there so we can get the situation under control quickly. I'll be relaying your instructions to you in the meantime. I understand. What should I do? Reno's cohort is heading for the cannon. I want you to head to the control room using the underground passage. You're going to finalize the lockdown sequence to the cannon from there. Understood. Ah! <laughs> so, this is the security system that Sung was talking about, huh? And these are the security robots. Intruder detected. Elimination subroutine activated. If a robot touches you, it's instant death. You should save the game now. What? Okay. I guess... <laughs> I guess I'm saving. These robots don't mess around. I think, how am I supposed to? Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing a, the. Why? The security robot should be able to distinguish between intruders and Shinra's own troops. Chaka, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, but it seems like the security robots are malfunctioning. Calm down and listen to me carefully. The emergency failsafe security program has been set to the highest level. At this level, the robots and other security features of the system will target anything that moves. They could have told me that before I walked in. The system was designed like this to eliminate anything that remained in the building once it had been evacuated. In other words, the system will attack without discrimination. That's right. 
I want you to go to the cannon's control room and lock down the cannon. Just make sure you're ready. This is the world's most sophisticated security system. Can you do it? I'll do it, sir. Besides, Reno's got a much worse job ahead of him having to lead a frontal assault. Guess I'll save again. I want that item. Ah. Uh. Uh. I got neither. Uh. -uh. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Pro gamer. Oh my god, there's more? Okay, this is just Frogger at this point. Ah! Gaming. Intruder detected. Commencing scan operation. Now what? Scan 20% complete. 40%, 60%, 80% complete. Commencing data transfer. Data received. I've heard of this. Shinra's unparalleled security system creates clones of intruders. Huh? A clone of me? Intruder detected. Illumination subroutine activated. This is a real time battle. Fight and dodge your enemy. Uh oh. How are you supposed to do this on a phone? I win. <laughs> it looks like I've managed to get out of this somehow. Mr. Sung, I'm calling to give you a progress report. I've defeated the cloning security system. Also, that, that whack effect was great. That's good news. The control room is located just off the room you're in now. Don't get careless now. Reno hasn't contacted HQ yet? Well, you did put him in a full frontal assault against like 900 soldiers. He's probably freaking dead. There's still lots of them left. Huh? The preparations for the firing of the Mako Cannon have been completed. This is Midgar's last day. We've waited a long time for this. That's as far as you're getting. The Turks? She used the underground passage to get here? All by herself? You better believe it. You must be tough. We're not going to fight you. The cannon override system has already been activated. You'll never be able to stop it in time. All right, hold on. I gotta pause. My throat's like killing me from all this dialogue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they spelled believe wrong, but that's the translation, not the game. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's impressive, like... The fact that there's real-time battles and turn-based battles I mean like it's crazy even sa even being able to save your game is kind of wild oh my god all right peace out please let me make it this is Terrible. Who or what could have done this? The control room is up ahead. Let me guess. Sephiroth already did our job for us. There's no one here. Good job. Huh? You stopped the cannon, didn't you? What are you talking about? I just got to the control room now. I was about to stop the cannon from firing. Now? It wasn't you? Then who? I do have something to report, though, Mr. Sung. I came across a bunch of dead Avalanche soldiers in the room just before this one. It couldn't be. Him? No, that can't be right. That's too fast, even for him. Whoever did it was no amateur, sir. Only someone with a lot of strength and power could have done that. Then it might be him after all. The shutdown switch should be over here. Shinra. I won't let them get away with this. Looks like somebody did stop the cannon from firing. You did this. You're Avalanche, right? That's right, I'm an elf. A woman? I'll have your head for what you did to my comrades. This is the only character I know from this game, other than the obvious. Another auto-death fight. 
It's the third time. Your pitiful attacks are useless against me. Prepare yourself, you Shinra scum. I have to try and escape. Disgraceful. A fitting end for someone like you. This is the end? Down with the Shinra! That's as far as you go. It can't be. You're... <laughs> oh my god. Impressive, you blocked my attack. So it's you. The silver-haired soldier. Sephiroth. What is your name? I am Elf. The leader of Avalanche. This woman is Avalanche's leader? Sephiroth. Why do you fight? We are fighting for a reason. By retreating today, we are victorious. It's over. You over there. I sense an exceptional energy coming from her. Tell your superiors not to take her lightly. Fighting for a reason. Sephiroth, Elf. They both have great power. What is this song? That's all of them. The only one left. It's me. Time to go home, huh? Good work, everybody. You all did well. The president's alive and we protected Midgar. I didn't do very much, sir. The president had already summoned Sephiroth. You did as much as you could given the circumstances. These first class soldiers are another story, though. What are we going to do now? Avalanche isn't going to stop anytime soon. That's already being taken care of. As for the rest of you, I want you to rest up for the next mission. What happened here in Junon? Has convinced the Shinra company that more serious steps are going to have to be taken to deal with Elf and Avalanche. President Shinra gave the Turks new orders. A few days later in the Turks headquarters. These are your orders. The President has decided to bring in soldier to break deal with Avalanche. We're short on manpower, so you're going to recruit soldier candidates. Reno, Rude, I'm leaving this mission in your capable hands. Understood. Oh my god, look at Rude. <laughs> Mira said, thank you so much for the... Uh... 22 months. Thank you, thank you. Hmm, so I'm working with you again. What do you mean by that, Rude? Admit it, you're happy to be working with me. Let's just get to work. Yeah, I guess we should get started patrolling. Shotgun, you're coming too. Yes, sir. To be continued. <laughs> it actually says to be continued. This game is canon. Like, completely canon in the compilation. They even they even bring up a lot of this stuff in Ever Crisis, I think. It's not canon in terms of the remake, because the remake is its own thing, and this, this stuff may or may not have happened, but... Uh... No, this, this game is canon, which is why it's really cool to, like, actually get to play it in English. Proof of a scar-filled existence. What is this edgy... What are these edgy chapter names? <laughs> and why am I a dog? And yeah, there has been, like, some references to this stuff in Rebirth, so... Yeah, no, this game is 100% canon. Leave it up to Square to make some random mobile game that never even makes it out of Japan. Soup like serious cannon. It's almost like it's Kingdom Hearts. This is it. Club Duel. What? The heck is Club Duel? Go, King! Get them! Don't let them get you! Mess them up good! Oh, it's Fight Club. King, King, King! Come on, isn't there anyone here that is tough enough to beat me? That's him. He's strong, just like they say. Hey, you can't just come in here. You know what kind of place this is? Of course I do. Now get out of my way, I'm working. No way! She took me out with one blow! Gua ha 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 ha! Looks like I finally got an interesting challenge! You're king? That's right, I'm king! The strongest person in this club is called that, and I've been called that for a very long time now. Who are you? I can tell you that. So what do you want? Everybody in this club, you're all going to become soldier candidates. And what if I refuse? Then I'll take you all by force. The search President Shinra ordered for the new soldier recruits had the Turks running all around the world scouting for candidates. The last place they came to was Kosa del Sol. I guess we're finished here. Is that a super mega bit crushed version of the top of the Shinra boat? We sure routed up a lot of people. Now we're just waiting on Shotgun. She's a club duel. She's doing pretty well for a rookie. 
Yeah. There's some very promising candid soldier candidates over there. On the other hand, there's a pretty big risk involved. Uh-huh. There are... There are... Though, instead of tough, bunch of goons. Things could get rough. It's still our job. If she can't handle that, she's not fit to be a Turk. Yeah, just another day in the life of an average Turk. Here are the soldier... How are the soldier candidates we have gathered so far? They finally settled down, for now. Who knows when they'll try something again, though. Let's get back as soon as we can, eh? We'll leave as soon as Shotgun comes back. You're going to take us all away? Don't kid yourself. You think they're going to let you do whatever you want? <laughs> I love that it always, like, gives me a chance to walk around before a fight starts. I'm never ready for it. Hit him with the fire. Boom. I killed him. I thought we were trying to recruit him. Oh my god! What? 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 <laughs> this place doesn't seem to have any rules. I think you should have known that. Come on, ha ha, you got it? The rules are simple. The strongest person in the club makes all the rules. In other words, you're staring at the rules right here. Ha ha ha. That suits me just fine. Then fight me right now. I'm going to become the new king. I see you're not one of these ordinary upstarts we usually get in here. You remind me of how I used to be a long time ago. Finally, king. Just how strong are you? Alright, let's get going. Entertain me. I'm leaving. Oh. The first rule of Fight Club is kill the leader so you can become the leader. The first rule of Fight Club is bring a gun. <laughs> Apparently. I'm gonna die. Oh, nice dodge. What? How could I lose? King lost? She's the new king. She's impressive. Are there any other challengers? No one? Then let's go. Please get inside. We're keeping the candidates in here. I can't think of anyone more deserving of being in here than you. Okay. <laughs> Going. You don't need to push me. Stay in here and keep quiet. Oh my god, dude. Alright. That's, that's enough before crisis. This game is insane. This game is actually wild. It, and, like, the main character is such a tough girl, too. I wasn't expecting that. I expected to kind of just be, like, a rookie and all the other Turks would just, like, talk. But she's actually, like, a really crazy character, too. Uh, this is awesome. We're definitely going to have to run through this whole game at some point. Just to even just to get all the, the lore and the dialogue. Because, like I said, there's a lot of crazy stuff in here. Like, Red 13's history and... The, the scene of t the Turks capturing Red 13 is in this game. Um, as well as like Barrett. Barrett in Cosmo Canyon learning that he wants to become the new Avalanche, I think is like literally in this game. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of like crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, cool that we got to see a little bit of it. Um, all right. Moving on. We gotta exit out of this. I can find a way to exit out of this. What a wild... Dude, I didn't expect it to be that wild. And, like, the way that the game... Like, I mean, it makes sense. It was on flip phones. But, like, the way it just throws you into stuff. Just, like, wild. Um, all right. Next is the game you've all been waiting for. The... Probably, I don't even know how it didn't get more votes, to be honest, but the game that everyone wants to see. Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition HD.
It's HD, all right. The tale of the chosen king, savior to the star. Why is it so quiet? Before he strikes again. It's like super quiet, even for a PS5 game. I got your back. Let's go. Thank goodness it's HD. Hey, you get the fight. The Kingdom of Lucis and the Empire of Niflheim are trying to bring the long war between their two states to an end. The Prince of Lucius Noctis wants to negotiate a ceasefire and is sent out from the kingdom with his friends. As proof of peace, the prince has been betrothed to Lunafreya of Tenebrae. The decreed hour is come. What happened to Regis? Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. Why this game exists? Your guess is as good as mine. They made Final Fantasy XV and a bunch of mobile games and a movie and a, all this stuff. And well, then they made a mobile game of the princess. regular game, and then so they brought that to the console that the regular game is Not on, like you had to deliver a when you could address. just play the regular game. Your Highness. So I, I genuinely have no idea why you'd play this. What now? On a console, at least. Like the HD version. I, I fear I, I have left too much unsaid. You place a great <laughs> burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> is, this, is this Final Fantasy XV or Geometry I Wars? That you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. I mean, Indeed, if it was made just for we'll Switch, the then they would have just put it on Switch. But I think this came yeah. out before the what Switch even existed, Hate didn't it? Up, Maybe not. Of got the motor running. What year did this come Carlos, out? He's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bright feet. Majesty as well. Try to mind yours. Yo, Deluca, thank you so much, man. I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Yeah, I don't think it came to Switch till later. It did come out after the Switch existed. It came out in 2018. The Switch came out in 2017. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Wait, what? Introduced. When did it actually come out? I think it came out in 2017, didn't it? So I think this came out afterwards. But, like, it didn't go to the Switch right away. It went to the PS4 and the Xbox right away, and then it came to Switch later. So they, they couldn't have made it just for the Switch. I can't even use the D-pad to move the... Lord help us. I can't even use the D-pad to move the menus. I have to use the analog stick. Can I turn up? It's so quiet. No, not the vibration. Got it.
This looks like a DVD load screen. What in the... That's the car? That can't be the car. Okay, I was gonna say. I thought that was the car for a second. I'm about to lose my mind. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself. To the brink of death. No, oh, get up. <sighs> Come on, the car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Really? Push! Man, I hate I Gladio, do me a favor. Heavy. What? Just I push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. I just Pronto. I just genuinely don't, don't understand why this it. exists. <laughs> I really I just genuinely Ignis, come on, time I'm to struggling switch. real hard here. We just switched back there. And it's my turn not to Like, part of the point of 15 is, like, it's... For the time, it was impressive looking and had a big world and was open world. And, like, that's... Tell that to my legs. just don't understand. Great. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Mobile Cindy. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady <laughs> Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking care of <laughs> You best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. I think Sid uh, might look yeah. better in this game than he does in the original. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw is getting you nowhere fast. She's going to take a while. You all get her in and run along. This game has so much dialogue and cutscenes, too. Why would you want to play this on mobile? Let's get moving. Right this way. I just don't understand. Like, everything I know about. Now we play the waiting game. This game and mobile uh, gaming like and that game. like it just doesn't good, add up. Either. Like I just don't understand why they thought this was a good well, idea. Might as well make good use of like the even just time. as a concept. Whoa! They got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait. Oh, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Let's see, options, menu. And then on top, oh my god, man, I just... Like, I hate this as a mobile game, and I hate this so much more as a console mobile game. Like, everything just looks so cheap and like this is just this needs to be on a phone why would I want to play this on a console have mercy Talk. Enough for room and board. Something the matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. 
You literally just finished playing the crappiest mobile game on a PC. Yeah, and I enjoyed that so much more. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Just so much more. Sid for the repairs. <laughs> Take so me back. Change is about all we have left. Take me back to blur on blur action. Gladio's got the last of it. You might share if you ask nicely. <laughs> Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Well, I'm curious what the All combat's like, because if the combat is more like yeah. action-based like and like simpler, then I could actually see someone preferring this over the original, at least in terms of the gameplay loop. I wish there was a giant arrow underneath my character that told me exactly where to go at all time. Oh, wait. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Huh? Knocked? I'd like a loan. Hate to ask, but can we borrow some cash? Why did it give me the money before I asked? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints <laughs> that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're what up was... to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, so. Oh my god. Okay, what now? Normally, when we need help with varmints, we just call the hunters. Hunters? Band of bounty hunters come out from the city. Keep these parts safe, provided the money's right. Y'all look like a rough and tumble bunch. I reckon you'll round up those critters lickety split. But don't feel obliged or nothing. Wouldn't want you to ruin your royal reputation. <laughs> Somehow I think I'll be okay. Well then, good luck to you. I'll be sure to give y'all a holler when the old girl's ready. Listen, I'm just gonna say it. Ignis looks like an alien. I mean, like, I'm not even joking. Like, it's not even a joke. I, I mean, he actually looks like an alien. He actually looks like what the ancient alien guys saw. Like, he saw him and... Ever since then, he's just thought aliens are real. I mean, he looks like an alien. He looks like a beep boop bop, like literal alien. Like Marvin the Martian a type alien. Actual laser gun and everything. This dude built the pyramids. I've seen it. <laughs> His hair is... <laughs> Wait a second, so it is kind of like open? Like it's actually like kind of an open area? It's tiny, but it's like an open area. I mean, that's kind of neat. Straight to DVD Vegeta. <laughs> Approach an enemy and press the square button to attack. Yep. Gladio whiffed that entire fight until Target the end. He stole my side. kill. I know. What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one either. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. Are those carrots? Or peppers? It bothers me I can't hit the touchpad to see the map. Also, it bothers me that this is on the same console as the original game, but the original game you hold circle to attack and here you hold square. Why not change it back to circle? Like, why, why not make it circle if the, the original game circle? 
Is there any reason for that? Just want to make it different. Just want to be different. Just want to keep it fresh. Just want to keep it fresh. Got to keep these gamers on their toes. It's too dangerous. Get out of here now. I think it's because they have square for like everything. So they just said we'll make square attack as well. The game is up. This is uh This is mind numbing at best. So my life flashed before my eyes. Thanks. I mean like it's a mobile game, I'm not expecting a lot, but why put this on console? It, it's just the worst version of Final Fantasy 15. I mean, it's like it's not different. It's just worse. I'm sick of walking around. Then try running. Ha! <laughs> You're joking, right? It's just genuinely just the same game, but with less to do. I don't get. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's all she wrote. Hey, what? <laughs> oh. You can attack boxes, but you have to stand in front of it and press square, and then you attack. You can't attack normally, but if you're standing in front of something it's that can so be attacked, can walk. and you Our hit attack, then it'll do this. a little animation Pretend where he attacks it. The car. Got it. Makes sense. Is that a cactuar? Time to book. <laughs> 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 Did I? No muss, no fuss. Did I take damage yet, or like? You guys can't jump over that pole. Oh, you can warp strike. Dodge something. The final touch. Why is it lagging? Why is it a mobile game on PlayStation 4 and it's lagging? HD version, my butt. A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. They made, they made the joke worse. In the original, he's like, half this, half that, half this, and then there's like a big pause, and then he's like, you realize that's three halves, right? But he said it so quickly, it wasn't even funny. Nice. Mission complete. That's one of the funniest jokes in the game. They ruined it. Why did we... Matt, what? Oh, it's ramp. It just immediately goes to the screen when you're done. So we can't like walk around anymore and like go up to Cindy when we're ready to move on. It just immediately moves us on. It's colder today. Yep, getting pretty dark out here. Okay. Who could this be? Hello. Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, cause I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot oh, in a nearby. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Why do they keep talking over each other? Take a look. I have like no control over what's going on. Why can't you get them to say words 
separated from the other people? Why does it? Why do they keep interrupting each other? Like I get when we're in the field, but this is a cutscene. Like, like why? How do we not? All right, we got ascension. What? No shot. Do just a hit unlock. Oh, okay. It was it. Okay, I was gonna say what. That was just a tutorial. No, what did Finny say? Okay, so we got a little skill tree. We got a big skill tree. Holy moly! Increase Noctis's strength temporarily with each consecutive hit against the same enemy when using a sword. That seems good. Awesome! We're gonna fail. Is that a passive? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing. Not missing. <laughs> Cutscene is a strong word. Shack. I mean, that's what it was. That's what I would I would rate it at. I, I would technically say it is a cutscene. What's this? Mutant dual horn sighting, codename Bloodhorn. Wait, is there hunts in this? Or that's just the next thing I gotta do. I think it's just the next thing I gotta do. I don't think there's hunts. What? Well, knock died. That's the end of that. just so mobile gamey like there's who would want to play this on console it's fine on mobile but man it just reeks of mobile game clunk it's just embarrassing i don't know i don't know what else to call it especially when the version of the game that this thing is taking from is on the console you're playing on. Just play that. You know? Well, that takes care of them. Uh, you don't think they That's took care it. of Dave, What's up, do you? Like, you know, they put, they put Angry Birds on PlayStation, right? But it's like, okay... If you just gotta have your Angry Bird fix, sure. Play it on your console. You know, that's the only way to play it, so... Well, not the only way, but, like, that's... You know, if you're on your console and you really want to play Angry Birds, like, yeah, it's gonna be a poopy mobile game on your PlayStation, but that you don't have any other alternative. Like, that's just the way to play it on PlayStation. But here, it's like, we have the real game. Why? Like, why do we need this? I, you know? I've come up with a new recipe. Come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. I thought this was going to be, like, different. I thought, like, the combat was going to be, like, different, you know? I thought it was going to be, like, more, I don't know, either action-based or they're going to change it, like, completely and just have it be, like, an art, like a, a strategy game or something or maybe be turn-based. I don't know. Like, I had no idea. But I figured it would be different because that would be, like, the reason to have this on console. But this is really just a watered-down Final Fantasy XV. Like, that's all it is. I don't get why you'd want to play this on console. Let's move. Yeah. I can't even block. I can parry, but I can't block. Yeah. 
I wonder if you get the ring and it just one-shots everything like in the main game. <laughs> Is the ring also broken in the mobile version? I wonder how long this game is. How long is this game? Ah, oh, I can murder some fine dining about now. It's so like the original game is like thirty hours if you want. play it unbelievably yeah, slow, right? But the want part is the catch. Uh. Dinner tonight. Talking what are we fish. thinking? Nah, something edible, I guess. Really? You guess? 16 hours. They stretch this out for 16 hours? All right, you hate bugs. And there's Me? like practically nothing yeah, else to do, so it's really them. just the 16 Same hours here. and that's it. Icky. That, I'm impressed. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. <laughs> he says it the same way that he says it in the main game. Dave, right? Yeah. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but... What do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Give me your money. Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I like There cannot be any actual, like, I've been hunting for years, thing that happens depending on what you pick there. Blood red it's just, do you like want those. money or not? Wonder if the night's growing longer's got anything to do with him. Didn't even seem like his dialogue was different. Well, whatever it is, we ought to take it out before it can spawn any more like it. You ever want to play the Final Fantasy whose main gimmick was that it's an open world, but now it's linear? Now you Sometimes can. I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. <laughs> yeah. I've been Sitting dreaming about it actually. Nice. Napping was even better. That's it. Come up with the new recipe. So there are like side quests, because that was a side quest. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. Yeah. Good idea. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. Well, that's a bit of a... bit of a misinterpretation. Everyone thinks that 13 was linear, but honestly, it's not that much more linear than the other games. The problem with 13 is that the level design is terrible. The level design is linear. It makes the whole yeah, game feel like I'm you're just running about. forward. That is some delicious... <laughs> the whole point of this was that it had, like, realistic looking food. That was, like, the whole reason this was, like, a thing. Now we're just looking at... this... Great. So happy we made that. Yeah, and the opening of 13 just goes on forever. Oh, that's it, right? 
It's really That's slow for really long. Time to boogie. Most people gave up before they got far enough to realize that the game does open up eventually, too, so they just thought the whole game was that. This technique will automatically be used by your ally in battle. Allies have each have skills that you like. Okay. Wait, it just shows up when it's time to use it? Sorry to break this up. Great, I got owned while that was happening. Fantastic. Love that. What is... Are you serious? That's me, I guess? That might as well be playing Farmville. What is this El Bargo down? Are you serious? Good thing I got that attack boost. Target the enemy's blind side. I know. I wonder if this combat has as much nuance as Final Fantasy XV's did. Because I know we meme a lot about just holding down circle, but there is a lot of nuance to 15's combat. The problem is you just never have to do it. You're never forced to learn it, so you just most of the time don't do it. Unless you're looking to make it more fun. Here, I'm genuinely wondering if there's anything for me to do other than hold square and occasionally hit triangle. And you know, that's not that shocking for a mobile game, but don't die on me. Duly noted. Again, if you have a mobile game where all you do is hold square, let's not Whoa. bring that over to Glad that's over the consoles. Now that Dave's safe and sound, I say we go and try to Cindy. sell it as a video game. Ring ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. What is this game rated? Like, I don't even know how to check on PlayStation. <laughs> As for stupid. And I love the PlayStation Store. I love how I don't even know what the ESRB rating is on games. Or in the thing, I can see it. T. Why is it T? Like, I, I do I actually genuinely think you're on to something. Like, this could be good for kids to get into Final Fantasy, you know? Just a simple, simple game to play, but still has, like, the dialogue story, right? But it's rated T, because it probably still has, like, cussing. And, like, some of the later scenes probably get, like, more involved. So you can't even say it's good for kids. Can't even... Can't even give it credit for that.
I gotta see this driving gameplay. Ain't she pretty? All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No. I'm I got XP for busy. that. <laughs> How could you say no to Cindy? Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, I was right. Be swell. I was right. They didn't change the dialogue. They still gave you the decisions, but they didn't change the dialogue. Thanks again, and take care, y'all. What? I, I, uh... I, I just don't understand why this exists. Like, it just... Let's just make a worse version of our game and sell it. I mean, that's genuinely what it feels like. What a disaster. An actual disaster. And I know I'm obviously going to be a bit more rough on it because I don't personally like 15, but I, I wonder if it, people that like 15 like this at all. How's it going, Bear? Thank you, Robbery, for the five gifted. 23 away from another hour. Let's go. Thank you, man. I'm going to have to ask some, some 15 peeps what they think of this game. Oh, my God. It's the same thing. You can just... Hammerhead is like no you can just tilt the car ever. in different directions, yeah. and that's all it is. No less of and now there's bad. not even a reason to look around because oh, it's it mobile game graphics. So it's literally just boring. There's like no this is just nothing. It's just literally just please. sit back and wait for the Would next game. Okay. Glad to look after your car. We'll just sit. We're just waiting. Right. Just waiting for the next time that's where I can press buttons. You, you can't even argue that this is like. Oh, you can like, look at the graphics, or you can, offer, like, you're supposed to take in the environment, like, in the no. City? I think I better score my own Especially on mobile. Who's looking at this on mobile, and they're like, wow, I'm so, like, into it, like, it, you know. I'm so into the environment. Now it's loading. My mobile game on PS4 is loaded. At least it skip. It just did the dialogue and then skipped, so we don't have to actually watch the driving. So I guess that's an improvement. That's a huge improvement over the original game. I don't have to sit and watch it. It's just the dialogue, and then it just skips ahead. Wait, this is actually better. Wait. This is my favorite version of Final Fantasy XV now. Perhaps she couldn't say. Girls gotta keep her secrets safe. We're not golden bound yet. He's right. Cindy's it's funny that that's us. such a huge part of the original game, though, is the car. Well, don't and you don't even her, drive do it in this game. What's that key? Cha-ching, this thing. What do you mean I can't? What do you mean? Why well, put it on the map then? You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Man, that was exciting. Oh my god, what did they do to Umbra? Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Bad oh boy. A dog can really track us. He's sand. a demon. Suddenly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Why does he look like that? Just a sec. Nice flower. <laughs> it's the same kind we sowed our crops with. Oh yeah. Sill blossoms. So, hmm? I 
have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something oh, in This the is painful. I, I love the, the kid scenes because they like show so much emotion and now they're just like these blank faces. It's like painful. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Wait, we actually have side quests? But you can probably only do it now, right? I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Hey, never noticed he wears a kilt. What you got? Attack up. Doesn't even tell me about how much. It, it, it'd be stronger. Okay, now it says. Why didn't it say that in the other menu? She's out of my league, but we have so much in common. Who's the lucky imaginary lady? When all this is over, I'm gonna visit her in Hammerhead. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> It'll be stronger. Huh. It's a map. A treasure map, you reckon? Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Are we searching for it? It's a hidden treasure map. So, yes? That is a gross exaggeration. Let's try. I mean, that's, that is, I just, I need a minute to soak this in. That's incredible. I mean, did the Goonies write this or what? That's amazing. Found it. I can't believe. I actually can't believe that treasure map had, had a barrel. A barrel and some tires. Look for the barrels and the tires. Oh my god. Well, look who it is. Make that too. Wait, ah. Uh... Tag. What? Hunters lead. If y'all was the whole yet, quest. Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly well, carry emotional is. weight. We best really find and return one. them. Wait, that was the whole quest? That was it. Walk to the left and talk to that guy. That was the side quest. What do you mean I have unfinished side quests? I have to look for the dog tag. Is it down here? Okay, that makes we more sense. Stay on our toes, without any kind of plan. Mind your manners. Whack. 
Whack. Whack. I feel like with the weapons being different speeds, there may actually be some reason to equip one weapon over the other. So we got that going for us at least. That's an actual, like, mechanic. And I got the passive from my skill tree to make my sword better. So, I mean, there's, there's some stuff going on. We're kind of just holding square during the battles, but at least there's sure something going on. Take head on. Okay. In from behind instead. Oh, I, like, I can't say it's completely brain dead. There are down. there are mechanics happening. And of course, I dodge. You know, you can dodge stuff. They make it very easy to dodge stuff, but I do have to dodge stuff. I do have to press X on occasion. Nice one, Prompto. Stop not. Never any doubt. And honestly, you know, as a mobile game, so this belongs belongs that's, to a hunter. I mean, I've definitely played mobile There's games no that are more involved in this, but ours. I'm not necessarily yeah. Let's deliver it to Dave. looking for that much depth when it comes to a mobile game, so. But as a mobile game put on console, this is horrific. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Found one already. Just... Taking that with each one, but if I let that and let it hurt, yeah, you know, that's what Monster Hunter. Let me know how they talk about what there's enough. What? Brother. Nothing doing. Found it. I mean, I, this is probably the funnest part of the game so far. I just, the map just cracks me up that someone would draw this, like, as a map. It just kills me, the, the picture. <laughs> Nothing doing. Found it. Is this it? Oh my god, I got all sorts of stuff. It frustrates me so much when they take mobile games and put them on console and they don't do like anything to make it work nicer on console. The fact that I can't use the D-pad for the menus is like actually boiling my blood. It is so frustrating. Why would they not do that? The D-pad doesn't do anything at all. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. Ought to be around here somewhere. Yeah, the only reason they can even make those treasure maps work is because the camera doesn't move.
Why does it say max? Like, is that not really odd? Shouldn't it say 837 out of 837 and 104 out of 104, but for some reason they took the extra time to make it say max? That's so weird. I've no, I don't think I've ever seen an RPG do that. When I first saw it, I thought it was like max level already or something. Boy, here we go. How's a dog like that managed to follow you around everywhere? Being one of the Oracle's 24 messengers has its perks. Circumventing time space, notwithstanding. Well, if that's the case, why doesn't Prina train her way over here sometime? <laughs> Prina? Lady Luna Freya's out of the dog, way. Opera's little sister. She's white and fluffy. Oh, totes adorbs. Oh, the one you dognapped as a kid. Rescued? And it's thanks to her I'm here now. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. But we're seriously driving all the way there? I thought it skipped the driving parts. Oh my god. Okay, it does. It just took a long time. I'm going insane. I'm going actually insane playing this. Can't wait to see the upside down triangle that is Arden. like water because we're surrounded by water I'm afraid you're out of luck are we the oh my god here he looks like oh, a bottom. well they'll not take you forth and what's your story what's I'm an impatient <laughs> traveler ready to turn ship the ceasefires getting us nowhere What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? A little obviously yeah. evil he and looks who's here. allowing us? In the original, the there's at least a small no amount of like, hmm, maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he's a bad guy. We don't know. Here it's yeah, like, right. okay, he's a bad guy. <laughs> <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. It's like frickin' Beetlejuice. What's that? Um, I can't, I'm blanking on the name. I think my brain is fried. Uh, you always have that book in your hand. Is it that good? Wanna borrow it? Can't think of the name. Just he looks like a character from an old PS1 game. Yeah, that's name. gonna happen. What's all this about the port closing? Man, not a ship in sight. What gives? Hold on, I gotta go get a new recipe. Thank you for bringing me. I'm just happy. Hey! 
whack. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> well, I could taste test for you. Excellent. So happy. It's wonderful here. Thank you for bringing me. What's all this about the port clothing? According to my Very sources, cool. the Empire. Given strict orders not to let any vessels. Why is it? Docks why is it fishing. cut off? Why is the picture cut off? Like they legit just didn't even care, dude. Like they just took the mobile game and just ported it to console. They just didn't even test anything. It's like genuinely frustrating. It's genuinely frustrating that they took the mobile game, put it on console, and tried to get money out of it. They did. Lately. Real shame if you were late this here. This is terrible. Already. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. I hate the this. The Crown Prince Eleusis bounty hunting in his Sold fancy I, car. Sold I, they give this up to Zendaru. Surely you Appreciate didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. I mean, talk about Lucky bare minimum, you, yeah. This reporter it's has like integrity. Insane. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect you. I'm surprised wish. it has in trophies. For a favor. The sound of tacit agreement. Here, marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? The papers. Yeah, we're gonna get the platinum at some point. Can't wait. Whew, he's really got your number, Nox. <sighs> Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't be him, quick. but we'd best not make him our enemy. I mean, I do like how easy it's going to be to like get everything in each area before moving on. So it should be like pretty easy to get everything, you know? Like, it will be fun to, like, uh, fun is probably not the right word, but it'll, it'll be an experience to, like, collect everything. How do I save? I don't remember how to save. Why can't I get to the shops from here? I don't know how to say. I think it just auto saves. I hope. Shall we shop a bit? I don't understand what go back to the world map means. There's a world map? What? What is this? This is the world map? I can already see the last chapter? This is not a world map, this is a chapter select. How could they possibly call this a world map? This is a chapter select. <laughs> All right, it looks like it's saved. All right. Well, that was an experience. Uh, honestly, like, I, 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 getting to listen to the, the story in like a smaller package on your phone, I don't see why anyone would want to do that. The whole purpose of these games is to like sit down and play them and experience the story, not get like, the, the spark notes version in a mobile game no, mobile games are for like quick fun not to like actually sit and invest yourself in a story so i don't even understand the general concept of this anyways but if we are making final fantasy 15 into a mobile game sure this isn't half bad it gets across what final fantasy 15 is and it has most of the dialogue whatever fine as a console game this is horrendous i wouldn't pay more than two dollars for this 
I don't know what it retailed for. It wasn't like full price. I think it was like cheaper than full price, but this is awful. I actual disaster. Pretty sure it got awful reviews when it came out, but like actual disaster. It's terrible. I hate it.